I'm Scooby Doo. He's got something in his mouth and he's crunching away at it now. Like, look at me like, well, you've got chicken. I just had this bone thing. You've got chicken. I'd rather have the chicken. Dagon Romper traitor takes off jacket and shirt Yakuza Kiwami style a reform society, even if it kills me. Oh, I wonder who did a, sex, a sexy seal and called me a cunt. Yo, Kale, how's it going? Huh. <sighs> But yeah, that is my my news for today. Let's get on with Dag and Romper though, because we need to get on with Dag and Romper. I just said we need to we need to focus. We need to put our game face on. Do we have game faces? Void has a game ass. He'll dumpy us along. He'll do a dumpy and we'll get along. Oh, let me out! I should probably give Daganropa its own source at this point. So now I don't remember what I'm doing. Yeah, that's a problem I have. You have a game face, but it's been flipped upside down? Good. We need more of like... <clears throat> looking faces for today. Hold on. We're, we're coming We're coming to the trial. We're coming to the trial. There will be a trial. And I couldn't face it. <laughs> We didn't even get to the fucking investigation. This is a novel? Okay. So, we have one bear left. I was definitely that yesterday a little bit. <laughs> You sounded so tired during your stream yesterday. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Hidden Monokuma's Dagger Romper 2, right? Okay. You, you were the second, second streamer that I watched that sounded like they'd had enough of life. Oh, you got such depressing music. I can't remember what happened last time. Oh, um... Nakamura, Nakamura, Nak Nekumaru died. Nekumaru. Oh, it's you, Hajime. Yeah, even in such an ab abnormal situation, people still get hungry. Nekomaru, what does that bastard mean by his final firework? That line's more suited to a Yakuza anyway. Nekomaru must have wanted to protect Akani at all costs. Just like how Pekka wanted to protect you. you... Shut up, don't say another word. Sorry. Just go on ahead to the restaurant, I'll come later. Riyahiku. I'm tired of casting streams, the painful cycle. Yeah. Me and both Leo understand that. Because <laughs> me and Leo forever are telling each other, if you're not feeling up to streaming, if you're tired and, you, you know, you're done with life, don't stream. And then the, re uh, the reply we both have is, but if we don't stream, then what's the point? <laughs> Yo, Marky, I need to go to bed, but I saw you on, so I wanted to say hello. Marky, I hope this week is going well for you. I can't wait. To actually be able to catch the stream when you start streaming again. Isn't it uh, Wednesday, today, that you're streaming again? I love that emote. I love that emote so much. But get good sleep. 
Get lots of good sleep, Rocky. You'll be back tomorrow. All right. Tomorrow. Everybody, if you're not following Marky, make sure to follow him for his triumphant return tomorrow. Which I believe would be a little later for us, because he, he goes live very late for the UK. <laughs> for the UK. Thank you, Warted. Thank you. I was lurking, but Shin sounded rough yesterday, too. I hope he got good rest. Yeah, there, there's a... Wednesday night in my time zone, so about 12 hours from now. There you go. There you go, guys. In about 12 hours, be there or be a rectangle. Keep dying that romper. I will. I will. We've got a lot to cover today, I think. I think. Uh, yeah, Leo's got a lot on his plate right now that he's not talking about. He's having a bit of a rough time. So, I was proud of him, though, because he kept his spirits up. And he nerded out for as long as he could about Dag and Romper, and that's all you can do in that situation, you know? Be a nerd. Hey. Good morning, Hajimi. Yeah, morning. See? Being depressed won't help. Let's believe in Nekamaru. Oh, Chiaki. Chiaki's one of those, you know. Just don't be upset, forehead. Do the second Somnium Files game on my own time. Oh, nice! Hell yeah! AI Somnium 2 is fantastic. I hope you enjoy it. Warted or Hooded Wellhog is also a huge fan of these games as well. I don't want to be depressed, lol. Come on, feel better. Okay. Chiaki, the psychiatrist. Hmm? As I was walking to the restaurant, I suddenly stopped. <laughs> I heard the sound of a girl crying inside the restaurant. Is someone crying inside? Mikan or is it Hiyoko? I peeked inside and quietly walked into the restaurant. Well, it was obviously a cane, right? <laughs> Neurologist essentially tell me exactly that not too long ago. I, I can't even with that with that thought process. Just be happy. Well, if I could be happy, I fucking would. You know, I don't think anyone sits there one morning and goes, you know what? I feel like today is a depressing day. Jesus Christ. Somehow this spring has been rough energy for a lot of folks. I was excited for spring. Spring portrayed me. It has been a rough spring, actually. I'm trying to be cheerful because next week is my birthday and I don't want to be depressed on my birthday. So I'm trying to be cheerful. Not in a be happy and you won't be depressed, but be cheerful and you might manifest, you know, at least a decent birthday. <laughs> birthday is my birthday next week. <laughs> I'm going to get old. Which day is it? Monday the 20th. On a Monday, a Monday. Huh? <laughs> I've got all the Canadians coming to celebrate with me, apparently, because it's Victoria Day for them or something. Uh, Akane, you're the one who's crying? <laughs> he is crying. Uh, uh, I'm scared. What's going to happen to us? I'm scared. W what happened? Could she be in shock about what happened to Nekamari? But yesterday, she was acting braver. Cold adrenaline. Hey, what happened to Akane? Isn't she acting kind of weird? I see. Oh, Jimmy, be careful. That's probably not the real Fuyuhiku. Huh? I know. The real Fuyuhiku is already dead. That's why that's probably Fuyuhiku's clone. It... What are you saying? Hey. Also, I heard from Monokuma that Nekamaru couldn't be saved. It's unfortunate, but a transfer student is apparently going to come soon as a replacement. <laughs> so let's all give that person a warm welcome. You... Are you messing around? I'm not messing around. I always speak the truth. Right. In order to prove it, I'll explain it especially to you. Listen carefully. Listen carefully, Hajime. I finally discovered who the traitor is. <laughs> you know, the true identity of World Ender. The traitor who was hiding among us is... No Bayakua. That's right. Bayakua is alive. He's been weird from the start, but isn't he acting much weirder than usual? Huh. Hey. hey, it's definitely best we keep Nagito tied up. No, not just tied up. 
I won't be satisfied until I peel the skin off his face and expose the meat so we can't identify him anymore. Yeah, what, lads? Yeah, yeah, what? <laughs> that, that doesn't sound very gentle. Did he do something to you? Huh. That idiot. He lied to me about Mahiru being alive and said he saw her at the movie theater. But why is he telling such a pointless lie? Huh. I don't know. I, I hate being lied to. Jeez. I won't feel satisfied until all this, his joints are bent at awkward angles. Probably be a waste of time to find out the reason for each little thing Nagito does, but... I don't get this at all. Why did he have to tell such an outrageous lie? Do you have anything else to say? Hey, what happened? Did something happen to you too? <laughs> weird? What's weird? I'm always normal. I always speak the truth. That's weird. Hajime, you're the one who's strange. That's it. You must be a fake too. You must be Hajime's clone. Okay, well, he's gone crazy. <laughs> but what happened, Akane? It's not like you to cry. Get a grip on yourself. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, Nekamaru got killed, you know? What What are you saying? It's not like Nekamaru was dead yet. I'm scared. I don't want this anymore. Let me go back home. She must be so shocked that Nekamaru sacrificed his, himself for her. No, there's no way that explains the change this sudden and drastic. Yes. Pardon me, everyone, but do you happen to have some time to spare? Hello, it may be rude Ibuki of me, Yoda. but I would like to say my greetings first thing in the morning. Good morning. I look forward to working with you all today. Bear friends, it's time to sleep. Get good sleep, Marky. Get the best sleep, my friend. I am excited to hopefully wake up in time to see your stream tomorrow. It'll be tomorrow. I Ibuki? Yes, I am Ibuki Mioda. Uh, aren't you acting strange too? Wait. Be careful, Ibuki. Hajime's dangerous. He wants to kill you and eat you. Well, what are you saying? Yes. Mr. Hajime, I am not tasty. Please do not eat me. He's obviously lying. I see. So it was a lie. It's, the truth. it's not a lie. I never tell lies. Understood. I see. So it's not a lie. It may be necessary for me to beg for my life after all. But what the heck is this? Akane, Nagito, Ibuki. They're all acting strange. What's going on? Yo, good morning, sleepy cat. Did they go crazy or something? It wouldn't be strange to go crazy in a situation like you this. But that's not it. Yes. I Ibuki, she has an extremely high fever. That's probably the cause. That's weird. Before you start it, before you start taking, I want you to tell me something. Who the hell are you? Oh well, why have you forgotten me? I'm making a Sumiki. Uh, anyway, please try touching her forehead. If you do, you'll see what I mean. My hand to her forehead? Ibuki, just a Understood. second. In exchange, please spare my life. I softly placed my hand on top of Ibuki's forehead while she continued to spout gibberish. She's hot? What is this? This heat is abnormal. That's right. She has a terribly high fever. And could the others? Ikani, let me feel your forehead too. I'm sorry. I'm so weak. I placed my hand onto Ikani's forehead while she groaned and kept sobbing. That must be it. She has such a high fever. There's no way that's a normal human body temperature. Nagito, you too. I don't have a fever. I feel extremely great today. I placed my hand on his forehead. Once again, I got the same result. What? Huh? All three of them have fevers? Then the reason those guys are saying such wacky stuff is... Emergency. My goodness, that's Emergency. obviously bad. Monokuma, for him to appear right now, does that mean this is... Whoa there, can you wait just a second for the explanation? The others are on their way too. And just as Monokuma said, I heard the sound of pounding footsteps. Sleepy Cat indeed. Well, I hope Sleepy Cat is having a good week. Oh no, she's hot. Where's Kaz when you need him? Everyone who gathered all had confused expressions plastered onto their faces. What's going on? N now what? Hey, hey. I heard it from Monokuma. Looks like something strange is going on again. Did something happen, you guys? Looks like everyone's here. Now then, let's start with the explanation. Hey. Hold on. Monokuma, you're pulling a prank again, aren't you? And what happened to Nekamaru? Hurry up and return him first, you rubber bear. Mm -hmm. Nekamaru? Are you talking about the boy who turns into a woman when he gets splashed with water? Who the heck is that? Nekamaru doesn't have a weird ability like that. Jeez, shut up. Give me a second, guys. I have also forgotten to record this, like always. Give me one second.
I am a terrible recorder. Because I need to record it in Streamlabs so that I don't have all the doohickeys on screen all the time. I don't even know what's been done to me, but I feel a mysterious life energy. Well now. This is Dagen Romper, not Dagen Ranma. <laughs> Jojo, is that you? Now that I've shut up the nuisance, let's go back to the topic at hand. Though, I'm pretty sure you guys have already noticed since you're all so quick-witted. So, it's just as I thought, the true identity of this high fever is... That's right! That's right! This is the new motive that I'm giving you. It's the despair disease! What the... Is that work? How are you all? I'm doing okay. I hurt my um my arm, my bad arm, doing some workouts yesterday. So I'm probably gonna cut my workouts by half today. Still do them, but do them like for 30 seconds instead of 60 seconds. Because they're not like big ones. I just need to stretch my arm out better. Despair disease? Actually, you know, there are extremely tiny insects that can't be seen with the naked eye living on this island. True. It's not like I added them recently. I just never told you about them. Hmm. Anyway, the endemic disease spread by these insects is called despair disease. <laughs> the despair disease? I've never heard of such a thing. Well? Let me tell you about it. As the name suggests, the despair disease is a really annoying disease where you get a high fever along with various symptoms that are full of despair. Those symptoms are different based on the person. For instance, Nagito was afflicted by the liar disease. Akane has the coward disease. Ibuki has the gullible disease, I guess. What? It just had to get symptoms that are the opposite of their normal personalities. Except for Nagito. Hey, it's um... not like you, like all you guys are down with the sickness yet. But be careful, sometimes the despair disease can get passed from person to person just like a cold. Huh? You, you mean it's contagious? <laughs> Don't put your guard down it's just because you don't have the disease. It'd be awful if everyone got sick. Hey, 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 let's hey. run, Miss Sonia. It'd be terrible if you caught the lowly disease of the common folks. Oh. That's right. Let's run away. I don't want to catch such a weird disease. Why? And why is that a motive? Are you saying that a killing will occur soon after everyone falls into a crazy state? Phew. Isn't this quite a novel an idea? A killing that occurs wait. while everyone has a completely different personality. Think of all the murder tricks. Is there any way to treat it? Why? Why? Is there a need to treat it? I mean, this despair disease isn't supposed to make you suffer. Yeah. It's a disease that cures your soft hearts. Your soft hearts towards killing. And with this, you can finally take the plunge and commit murder. <sighs> you bastard. She better stop talking about this bullshit. <laughs> it's all my fault. I'm sorry. I'm always bothering you. Right. I've decided. As an apology, I'm going to commit murder. Are there any charcoal briquettes somewhere um, i'm pretty sure i found some at the supermarket so stop it canny nagito abuki you guys stay put hey. you're wrong i'm not nagito to tell you the truth nagito command is a fake name i'm sorry i've kept it a secret till now Understood. oh i see <laughs> for fuck's sake she's believing him again so serious Amazing. man whatever i feel so great today this despair disease is awesome <laughs> despair 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 down of the sickness seems quite disturbed <laughs> it's amazing you all should get to get it too we're all done for there's no such thing as hope we all have to die from this despair disease that's the uh, only way whoa, whoa he collapsed <laughs> the Nikito, now that i've given you a no motive how will things develop will the killing start after everyone gets the despair disease or even before Chills, that chill. I'm Kills. so excited about it. I'm just going to stand around naked. That's the screenshot. Give me a second, guys. There's going to be a beep. There's your beep. Bring it on. Just kidding. I'm always naked. Uh, hey. Damn it. Yakimaru's incident just happened. And now this? Where did that peaceful mood that lasted till yesterday go? <laughs> This is bad. The Gita was filming at the mouth. She's right. I've never seen that film that color before. Impossible. It's a, a firmly rare color, normally only found in the depths of the netherworld sea. In this case, the color doesn't matter, so let's hurry him over to the hospital. Got it. I'll help out. Wait. Um, what should we do about Akane and Ibuki? Anyway. 
We're definitely going to bring them too. We don't know what they'll do if we leave them alone. Hey, bastards, can you walk? Allow me to confirm. I just have to alternate, alternate the movements of my left and right leg, correct? <laughs> uh, hold on. I'll, I'll walk. Don't leave me. The, uh, let's go. With the diseased in tow and Nagito, whose condition was clearly worsening, we rushed over to the hospital. But this kind of motive is impossible. An actual despair disease? And there's a possibility that it might be passed along. What the heck? Damn it, what should I do? <laughs> uh, I will go make the infected change their clothes and then I'll have them sleep in the patient rooms. Understood. Understood. So I just have to change my clothes, correct? <laughs> I'm scared of changing. Uh, anyway, everyone else, please wait here. As she supported all three of them with her shoulders, Mikan disappeared into the depths of the hospital. Damn it! Damn it! I never expected us to get sick. What's going to happen? Let me tell I would not this. mind if Nagita retired permanently. Maybe. Is Mikan going to personally change their clothes? What's wrong with that? Well. Does that include Nagito too? It's not a little bad. <laughs> There's no need to panic. Even I attend to the needs of my four dark divas of destruction. Hey, hey, hey. Don't lump hamsters and teenage boys together. Um. Hey, is this stupid conversation going to last much longer? Hey. Shouldn't we be seriously thinking about what we need to do from now on and stuff? What we need to do from now on. Hmm. I want to see how Gundam changes uh, <laughs> a, a, a hamster's clothing. This, this disease is resembling... His voice line's gone forever. This disease, it resembles an illness the Demon King once unleashed long ago to wipe out a large country <laughs> there is no reason it, sh it would work against me the supreme overlord of ice <laughs> um. i am worried about those three but is there a chance that mikan will catch it while she is tending to them we should consider that too Maybe. by any chance is mika gonna attend to all of the Gito's needs <laughs> damn it this is a dilemma i don't want to get sick but i'm jealous of that disease Now's not the time to say stuff like that. It looks like things are getting pretty strange. So. But now's it. Now's the time for us to do our best. We need to stand firm until Nekamaru comes back. Don't overwork yourself too much, though. Your wound hasn't fully healed huh. yet. <laughs> I can't slack off now. Monokuma said the disease was spread by insects we can't see with our eyes. Would bug repellents in the supermarket help? Good old Chiaki. Jeez. That disease sure looks dangerous. Nagito, Akane, and Ibuki aren't acting normal. If it spreads to anyone else, a killing is bound to happen. Based on the observed behavior, I cannot deny that. But those guys aren't being considerate. I want them to at least have the decency to consider committing suicide before they start bothering us. Hey, Hiyoko. <laughs> I know, it can't be that easy. So it's important to make sure we don't end up catching the disease. Make sure? What do you mean? Please, why don't you get it? We need to isolate them from us so they won't spread the disease. Uh, isolate? Yeah. If you can't cure it, the only option is to stop it from spreading. Even a preschooler knows that. But but still, it, isn't isolating them a bit too harsh? Hey, if everyone catches the despair disease, we won't be able to do anything about it anymore, you know? This is bad. You're right. There's no way we should allow it to spread. Oh, hold on a sec. Wait, why are we against isolation that's like number one of a contagious disease isolate them it just aids in hamster breeding ah i see i see oh hold on a sec his sperm is hamster ready is it hey hey isolation you mean we need to quarantine them inside the hospital right so chiaki don't tell me you also agree with this it's to prevent a killing as long as that disease is monokuma's motive if we just ignore it a killing will happen again to prevent that, we also have to prevent the disease from spreading. That's why we need to quarantine them. Like... Even if we quarantine them, who's going to take care of them? <laughs> Mikan's going to stay here anyway. She's been touching the infected all over, so it's possible she's already caught the disease. But but there's no way we can leave her by herself. Hey. Then why don't you stay too, huh? huh? Now that I think about it, you touched them when you took their temperature, right? Oh. <laughs> so I'll leave the rest to you. Contact me if something happens contact you how are we supposed to do that Jeez. oh right we need to think of a way to communicate if we keep meeting in person we could catch the disease so i'll let you handle that Kaz kazuyuchi uh. 
Yeah, got it. Fine. Threat not. We are not going to abandon you. I shall station myself nearby in case anything happens. Nearby? There is a motel on this island. Until this matter is resolved, we shall stay the night there. Aww. What? Do you really have to stay at such a dirty place? Silence. What are we supposed to do if we can't immediately get here if something happens? Also, if that disease is airborne, the hotel on the first island might already be unsafe. We must be vigilant Empire. about protection. I have those who I must protect. You. They're just hamsters, dude. That is you. an unkind thing to say, you fiend. How dare you call my four dark divas of destruction hamsters? Jeez. Fine, I'll just stay at the motel, okay? Jeez, how annoying. <laughs> Even if it's a quarantine, we're still going to be on the same island, so just call us if something happens. But what are you frustrated for? Like this. this is obviously a trap. Monokuma's goal is to separate us from a group. Separate us as a group. Is it really okay for us to fall for that? So... It's not like we stop being friends. I just don't want a killing to happen ever again. We can't prevent that if everyone gets sick, you know? You know right? Yeah, that's right, man. There's no way we're going to lose together here, you know? Because right. if that happens, then Monokuma gets what he wants. Hey, Hiyoko. What did he say to me earlier? Something about me being the first one to get cut off. And? What? What's wrong with that? Huh. This This must be that moment. It's not like me and Hajime are enough people. You. Are you saying you're going to stay here too? Huh? You too? <laughs> this life of mine is a spare anyway. Fine then, do whatever you want. Hey, Fuyuhiku, are you sure? You might be endangering yourself, you know. Jeez. Hey, don't make me repeat myself. Hey. Hey. You, you're really, really okay with this? Then I'm going to leave the rest of you too. <laughs> Whatever's happening over here, just leave it to us. We'll make sure to keep, keep the disease from spreading. Come on, shouldn't you guys head over to the motel before you catch the disease? I am sorry. I, I am sorry. We are forcing this upon you like this. No, what everyone's saying is true, so it's okay. Mm. Thank you, both of you. I won't let your feelings go to waste. We'll make sure to find out the mystery of the despair disease while you're all Thank here. Me. I think, probably. I, I'd really prefer she had a more confident-sounding catchphrase. Um. Now then, I shall excuse myself. I am counting on you. <laughs> then I'll make sure to figure some way to communicate later. Bye-bye. Do your best and try to stay alive. I've just noticed in all my times of playing this game, there's handprints on this window over there. It looks creepy. And just like that, the others left, leaving me and Fuyuhiko at the hospital. I never expected it would turn out like this. Jeez. It's not like it's their fault. It's that bastard Monokuma's fault. I can't believe he'd actually arranged something as irritating as a disease. Uh, thank you for waiting. Dude, they finally finished changing. Everyone's resting in their rooms. Huh? Why is it just you two? Uh, you know. I know. They must have left to give fruits to bring back later. Yeah, everyone is so kind. I'm so glad everyone is so thoughtful toward their friends. Well, like I said, we're all equals when we're sick. Let's all work together and do our very best. Hajime, I'm sorry, but I'll let you handle the explanation. Uh, that's quite the burden I have to bear. And so we decided to split into two groups. In the hospital, there are either three people who caught Monokuma's despair disease, Kane, Nagito, and Ibuki. There's also Mikan who's nursing them back to health. And as a safeguard for you, Hiko, and myself, altogether six people are staying at the hospital. Hiaki, Gundam, Kazuchi, Sonia, and Hiyoko are staying at the motel on the same island. As for Nekamaru, he's not back yet, but... Anyway, until we do something about this despair disease, our current situation isn't going to change. But we have no clue what we need to do. Seriously, what should we do? Who says the rabbit thing can't get sick here? That is true. What if the rabbit goes evil? Well, they already think the rabbit's evil, so I don't think they'd worry too much about that, right? H huh? I suddenly woke up. And if I woke up, that means I fell asleep without realizing it. Earlier, I discussed it with Fuyuhiku, and we decided we'd take turns resting. That's right. That's why I came to the on-call room on the second floor of the hospital. I haven't been sleeping well the past few days, so I sun saw a sudden drowsiness overtook me. And I was asleep, which is a good thing, but my body feels really heavy for some reason. No, it's not just heavy. It feels somewhat soft and... Our death is by a booba. Huh? <laughs> 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 
dodging me. Are you okay? Your complexion is a bluish purple shade. It might be a severe cyanotic reaction. Hajime, can you hear me? Get hold of yourself. He can finally got off me, grabbed my shoulders, and began shaking me intensely. Somehow, that was enough to get my consciousness to drift back to reality. Ugh. Hajime! Uh, Hajime, you've regained consciousness. I I'm so glad. I thought you died. But me too. I seriously thought I was going to die. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I thought about taking a rest in the encore room, but you were already asleep, so... That doesn't mean you can climb on top of me. Then I'll be on the bottom next time. That's seriously not what I'm talking hey, about. Hey. hey. What are you... Mm. You guys doing? But for you, Hiko. No, this is... I really hope you didn't get the wrong idea. Were you guys sleeping together? Bastard. You dirty, rotten bastard. You guys are fucking high school students. Seriously, you've got this all wrong. We don't have time for that. Nagito, he's in danger. Danger what? When I peeked inside his room earlier, it looked like he wasn't breathing. Huh? Huh? Th this is bad. Now's not the time for us to rest. Mikan vigorously leapt out of the bed and ran out of the out of the uncle room. Hajime, now's not the time for you for you to be pitching a tent. We need to hurry. <laughs> pitching a tent? What is saying? Seriously, I'm not. Fiyahiko and I chased after Mikan as she ran into Nagito's room. Hmm. Uh, Nagito, please get a hold of yourself. Despite Mikan's desperate pleas, I didn't see Nagito react at all. There's no way he died, right? The body discovery announcement isn't playing, right? Fidget, fidget. <laughs> fidget, fidget. Damn it, he's totally waiting for <laughs> Go into a room and be like, is he dead? And he's just having Monokuma in there in the corner, like, oh, I want to press the button so bad. I'm gonna press this button, guys. Damn it. This looks very bad. Damn it. This looks very bad. Okay. I don't think it's in this room. Despite Mikan's desperate cries, I didn't see Nagito react at all. Mikan, is Nagito alright? Uh, uh, um... It looks like his breathing has returned. R really? But still, his condition is unpredictable, and that's putting it lightly. Hey, hey. How light is that? Is his sweet potato soft? Well. If so, that's pretty light. Please don't interfere. Hey, hey look, isn't Nagito's mouth moving? You're right, he might be trying to say something. Nagito, what happened? As she said his name, Mikan softly tilted her ear toward Nagito's lips. What did he say? Apparently his condition has improved and he feels quite refreshed. Uh, since Monokuma said Nagito has the liar disease, he probably means the opposite and actually feels really crappy. Like... What's gonna happen if he just dies? We're not gonna have to cast trial, right? Don't talk like that. Nagito is never gonna die. I will save him by any means necessary. See. I see, got it. Then I leave Nagito's life to you. Yes. Far from her usual self, Mikan responded assertively and went back to tending to Nagito. If we stay here any longer, we might just get in the way. Right. Then follow me. While you are resting, the goods arrived. I gotta show them to you. The goods aren't aren't something aren't something dangerous, anyway. right? Let's go to the lobby. Okay, go into the lobby. Off to the lobby we go. The aliens are still going at it. They still die at the end. Ribberoonie aliens. Hey, Fiyahiko, what do you mean when you said goods? Right. Look on top of the reception desk. On top of the reception desk? Why are they flashing? Vehicle was talking about this, right? It looks like a monitor in a camera unit. Hey, what is this? Huh. Perfect timing. The blue light is blinking. Something happened when the bl this blinks. Seeing is believing, as they say. Try pressing the button just below that light. I just have to press the button. I did what Vehicle said and pressed the button. What's up? Hey, is this Hajime? Hehe, <laughs> loud and clear. Looks that like, looks like it's perfectly connected. Kazuichi, then this is... Huh. Yeah, that's right. That's the way to communicate he was talking about. 
All right. Looks like it's time for the ultimate mechanic to shine. How about it? This is what I've been working on. <laughs> Remember that alley with all those shady looking street booths? That's where I found this. It's a surveillance camera for our household use. I just tweaked it a little. <laughs> so now it's basically a video chat device. Well, it's pretty hit or miss. Video chat, huh? It's true. We don't have to worry about getting infected with this. That's right. So it may be a hassle, but we'll be contacting each other with this from now on, okay? This was only a test run this time, so I guess this should be pretty fun. Okay then, see you later. Huh. Kazuchi left this while you were resting. Right. This surveillance camera unit comes with a surveillance camera and a surveillance monitor. Anything the camera records is broadcast live on the monitor. So he prepared two of these sets and swapped each of their cameras. I see, by swapping the cameras, his monitor will display what's on my camera and vice versa. Apparently he also modified it a little. He widened his narrow communication range beyond just household, household so. use. But even so, he still had a limit. So apparently the signal can't reach from the hospital to the motel. Then we can't communicate between the hospital and the motel. You didn't notice? He was contacting you just now from the music venue near the motel. From there, the signal reaches the hospital with no problems. They're staying at the motel, right? What happens if we can't reach them when we need Damn to? Right. I thought the same thing. So we arranged times for us to contact each other. It's set up to use com to use communicate. Wait, it's set up to. Let me reread this. It's set up for us to communicate 30 minutes after Monokuma's morning and evening announcements. Our next contact with them is going to be tomorrow morning. Don't sleep in. He's well prepared, as expected of the air of an enormous organization. Oh, right. huh? what is it? Nothing. Sickly lurky, have a good lurk, God. I'm sorry you're feeling sick again. You've been ill for a while now. Ahem. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Now then. It's that time already, huh? Now then, where should I sleep tonight? Are you planning to use the encore room of a certain someone again? Like I said, it's not what it looked like. You guys. One thing after another, I feel like Shin. <laughs> He does get ill quite often. Yeah, look after yourself, bud. Uh, hey, aren't you misunderstanding? A hospital is a facility for sick people, so it's not for lodgings or young romantic trysts, you know. Y you too? What are you talking about? Oh, I see. Your generation has fallen out of the habit of looking at bulletin boards. Come on, take a look at the bulletin board. There's a notice on there, right? A notice on the bulletin board? A bulletin board notice, is he talking about this? Hospital precautions. Eating and drinking is forbidden within the hospital building. If patients do not need to be accompanied, overnight stays by non-patients are expressly forbidden. In other words, right, it's like the notices you often see inside hospitals. You can't stay overnight here. There is one patient who needs to be accom accompanied. Oh, you're talking about Nagito, right? Then I'll allow just one person to accompany him. The rest of you need to hurry up and get out of here. Jeez. Hospital precautions, my ass. You should have said so sooner. Only one person can stay the night, and there's no way we can make Mikan leave. Jeez. I guess we have no choice. We should head back to our cottages then. You're right. Even if we stay here, we probably won't be able to do anything. After explaining the circumstances to Mikan, we decided to go back to our cottages for the time being. So, Fuyuhiko and I are going to be the only ones sleeping in our cottages tonight. I'm a little worried. No, the ones who are stuck in a hospital should be more worried. What's the point of me getting so worried? Alright, when I wake up tomorrow, I'll go to the hospital right away. I feel bad leaving Mikan alone. I guess for now I should try to get some sleep. Monokuma Good evening, it's time for Monokuma's cooking class. Today we're going to learn how to make Taiyaki. The first thing you'll need is a time machine. We will travel back in time to the Maiji period and meet a person named Sajiru Kanabi. He used to bake and sell turtle shaped pastries but unfortunately never sold all that well. It's important that you gently cheer him up because he's going to be disappointed in himself when you meet him. From there, get serious and insist that he tried making his pastries fish-shaped 
because they'll sell better. Once that happens, he'll happily bake his pastries in the shape of a fish. And as a final touch, name these pastries Taiyaki. Okay, with this, you're finished making Taiyaki. This concludes Monokuma's cooking class. There you go, guys. Don't do any cooking yourself. Just make someone else do it for you. With a time machine. Sorry, I have a smoothie that I am now drinking. Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! Also, I need to... I'm worried about Mika and the others. I should hurry over to the hospital. The moment I got out of bed, I immediately left my cottage and headed over to the hospital. Or the hospital. Yo. Yo, you came early today. You're the one who's yeah, early. Right. Well, I just got here. So what should we do? There's still a little time before we need to make contact. Wanna go to Nagito's room and check up on him? Yeah, I'm worried about how he's doing. Worry? Why do I have to worry about a guy like him still? Because we're nice people. Nice people worry about people, even if they're not the nicest. I like that they've got their little characters on there as well. I could go in and see Ibuki. Hello. Good morning. I am truly honored by you stopping by to see how I am doing today as well. Oh, really? Yes. As a token of my gratitude, I really want to sing you a song. However, this is a hospital, so I must be Understood. quiet. If and when I am discharged, permit me to sing to you as a token of my gratitude. The older Buki wouldn't have cared at all and just started singing. I really don't know how to react. Got a little sunflower in here. <clears throat> Let's go see, um... Good old Akane as well. See how she's crying. She's got a banana plant? What? I want a banana plant. <laughs> the hospital was scary. I was so scared I couldn't sleep. How much longer do I have to stay here? Huh? Well, is there any cure for this? Monokuma is the one who set this up. That's all the reason we need to cure it. I want a banana plant, guys. No! I forgot about my fucking... That's the button. The... It wants to give me something? Okay. Okay. Do, do snakes usually throw up their eggs? I also then need to get the Tamagotchi thing up. Uh, Dagon Romper Tamagotchi. Dagon Romper Tamagotchi. So next we need to get Shitami. That one does apparently. Well, we're gonna get shit at me this time. Alright, so come out, go back in. Okay. Right, let's go into Nagito. I gotta get to despair level six and then clean it up. Keep it around six. Miken, how's Nagito doing? Same as usual. No, actually, he might be worse than yesterday. Are you fucking serious? His pulse is extremely weak. He might slip into a critical condition sometime today. I is he that sick? 
But as long as, as long as I'm his nurse, I will never let the Gitu die. Ever. I do understand how you feel, but don't overexert yourself, okay? Hey, Hajime, it's almost time to start the connection. We need to head over to the lobby. Yeah, got it. After being reminded of how powerless I am, I left Nagito's room. I'm about to bust. Thank you for busting over my face. The incoming signal light is blinking. Now then. Looks like they're already waiting. Let's hurry up and start the connection. Yeah, you're right. I pressed the button underneath the blinking light and the monitor instantly lit up. Looks like the camera and the monitor had no problem making a connection. Soon enough, a familiar face showed up on the other side of the monitor. What's up? Hello? How is it? Can you see my handsome face? Yeah, I can see you real clear. <laughs> We're good on our end too. I can totally see your broke ass faces. It might be best if I tell the others about Nagito's condition. Hey, are you the only one over there? Nope, we're all here except for Hiyoko. What happened to Hiyoko? <laughs> it seems we all look like a look like aberrant enemies in the eyes of that coward. She has locked herself in her room. She said from the other side of the door that she won't come out until the despair disease has been cured. She's even being cautious around the others in the motel, huh? Looks like they're also in a testy situation. Hey, hey. So how about you? How are you guys doing? Yeah, about that. To tell you the truth, the Gil's actually in a serious danger. Ooh. I already know he's seriously dangerous. No, not that. He's seriously wandering the border between life and death. What, what did you say? However. But he is gonna be okay, right? The Gil's gonna be to go gonna get better. Hey. Hey. First Nekamaru, then the Gil. That ain't funny at all. But for now, we really can't say. Yeah. You really can't say? That's impossible! Monami, why are you on that side? Because it'd be dangerous if I got close to the hospital, since I don't even know what's going on there. You are really pissing me off. Like, why does a stupid stuffed animal need to be cautious about a disease? But please don't discriminate. That despair disease is horrible. It's a dangerous disease that can even destroy this island. So until we figure out how to deal with it, I will be on this side. Before I could respond to Monami, Fuyuhiko had cut the connection. That shitty me. stuffed animal, she seriously pissed me off. Oh, damn it, I'm good outside to call off. Fuyuhiko practically spat those words before he went outside. Anyway, all we can do now is wait. Just wait patiently until the situation improves and changes for the better. That's why we waited patiently. Because waiting patiently was the only thing we could do. We waited patiently. On a side note, why can't I relax when I'm in a hospital? I paced back and forth around the hospital lobby. Fuyuhiko entered and left the hospital many times, and time just kept passing by. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Damn it. It feels like a lot of stuff got skipped over, and now it's nighttime already. Almost time for tonight's transmission. We should go back to our cottages when that's done. It's fucking annoying to keep going back and forth, though. But before we go back, can we check on the gate one more time? Go for it. Leave this transmission thing to me. Jeez. They're not going to have a new clue anyway. I can handle this. Then I'll leave it to you. I want to talk to Soda. He's my favorite. Okay, Ibuki in the passage like that was kind of freaky. I will give you that. Whoa, Ibuki? Well, what are you doing here? You need to be resting. Yes. Tell you the truth. I've been getting quite bored doing nothing but sleeping. Also, it would just trouble you if I slept all the time, so I was hoping I could help you with anything. Hydrate? I could do a hydrate. But it's better if I am sleeping, correct? Yeah, just get some rest for now. It'd be a big help if you got better if you it would be a big help if you got better soon. Understood. Yes, understood. That's kind of scary. I hope she gets better real soon. Do you think the reason they had a bookie be one of them was so that it could be spooky. They could have a spooky moment. Break time before the meeting. Nice. 
your wonderful Wednesday meeting. I always look forward to hearing you be tired about it afterwards. <laughs> yes. Just as you ordered, I am getting proper rest, so please do not worry. A possible spooky abuki. <laughs> I hate those stupid me. I do. I look forward to like the 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 most you get to a rant every week about it. It's it's one of my Wednesday highlights. You coming back after the the uh, meeting and being like, "Well, now I know what not to do if something happens." <laughs> it's night time again. It's so dark. I'm so scared. I'm gonna get eaten by ghosts. <laughs> Usually she'd be more like, I'll beat the crap out of ghosts. Can he act like this? Just isn't it can he? Yeah, we're about to have a break. It's about plastic recycling this time. Good luck, my friend. Uh, we've only got 40 seconds pretty much before the break. So I'm going to go on my break. I'm going to stretch out my arms a little bit. Because obviously I did the, I did the overworking of the arms yesterday. And then we will be back and we will talk to Nagito and we will see what Nagito has going on. Lights the cigarette. Burn the plastic. Burn all the plastic. Burn the plastic. <laughs> <laughs> He's got Tiny Tim on us. <laughs> Has a take item feature function? No, don't do that. Can't stop me. <laughs> no, it's sad. <laughs> oh my god, you're so dumb! Oh, I know, I said you can't stop me, and I didn't see the one next to me because the troll was in the way. <laughs> that, that was nearly, nearly as good as. I'm gonna tank it dead! I'm... <laughs> Look, this bear just looks like me. Look. What the oh, fuck? God. We got oh, a scrap kill. We got a scrap kill. I did that not was see who it oh, was, but it. I know it was oh, Shin, Haru, and Kudu. I think were there with me. Yeah, I. And I saw a splash of blood, and then I look over and Anna. Shin. Yeah. Fuck oh, that war. Right, who was there again? It was me. You. Yes. Shin. Make a and I think Haru. And. It spells my name! Hey. Guys! Keep trying! Well, the fun things happen. What? This actually, like, blow. Some camera. Can't go down on myself. He was judging us earlier. I don't want him on camera. He doesn't, he doesn't <laughs> like being on camera, mate. He's, He's not gonna judge you. He couldn't hear you, drunk ass. <laughs> what do you mean? He could, he could read. He could read. Don't worry, if he hadn't laughed fictional, I would have banned him. I would have turned this video game around and gone home. I am freaking myself. Oh god, there's a lot of them. I'm being hit by a lot of stuff. Oh no, oh no, oh no, this is death rank, isn't it? Something that I found for this! Oh no, I, I 
reckon I'm gonna fiddle with the big bit. Nothing happens. Nothing at all happens. I definitely definitely right, think... are you in Asia? Okay, can we hold off on the sick guitar so I can figure out whether or not Moose is in Asia? <laughs> I'm gonna lose my marbles. <laughs> what color marbles are they? I have Chinese checkers, so I got pink, green, blue, and red. Ooh, pink, green, blue, and red. And BBC Recipes gave me the answer. So, if you want to play Coffee Club, don't look at BBC Recipes for drinks because apparently the spoilers are in there. The spoilers are in the BBC website. Nuclear Strike? It wasn't me. I'm gonna be. Right, now I should fucking slow the fuck down. Cause I can't and do you can get it. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> what is? The troll. Okay, oh I am god. back. Oh, there you go. Right. I am back. I did some stretchies. I am back. Snazzy Shazzy? He is quite snazzy. If you don't know Shazzy, they're a wonderful person. They used to stream. Uh, they, like, Palin had a lot of problems with their PC, apparently. Good stretching time. It was. Alright, let's get on. I also blew my nose to try to, like, get that last bit of ick at the back of my throat out. And it didn't work. <laughs> Mikan's too focused on caring for Nagito. She hasn't even noticed I entered the room. Has she been caring for him this whole time? Hey, Mikan. Hey, Mikan. No matter how many times I talk to her, she's not responding. Her back is turned toward me as she focused on caring for Nagito. I peeked over Mikan's shoulder and said, Hey Mikan, are you okay? <laughs> Looks like you finally noticed. Yeah, please don't surprise me. I almost got wet. Wet? Um... Uh, did you come by to check on Nagito? I just wanted to see how he's doing, but you look pretty tired too. Isn't it better if you get a little rest? Um, um I hope I'm not mistaken. That'd be really embarrassing. Uh, are you by chance worried about me? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I'll remember this moment until the day I die. I'm starting to get my energy back, so I'll get back to taking care of Nagito. I hope she understood what I said. But she's working so hard, it'll be bad if I keep getting in her way. That's exactly how I felt, so I decided to just shut up and go back to the lobby. I know, right? Mikan's a difficult yeah. one. Yo, how's Nagito doing? Because Mikan is an interesting character, badly written. Which, you know, as much as I love Dagon Romper, there are a lot of very badly written female characters in it. He 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 has good ideas. And I don't know if it's even the fact that they're badly written or just badly translated, right? This could be like the problem with trying to translate something he has an intention of doing in Japanese back into english or back into english into english in the first place you know so i don't know but a lot of it i mean a lot of his characters are bad in general he doesn't write male characters very well they're all very stereotypical to a certain degree but the female ones he like has these really interesting ideas about very tough situations and stuff but then Somewhere in all of this, it gets very icky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, on that half, I would have to say that the guy who does 999, is it Hoochie Coochie? That's how I say his name, right? Because it's a, a Kodolka over here and Hoochie Coochie over there. He, he does better at writing characters. Or at least, because I've only really done the Romper games on this side. So maybe he's better in some other ones. Uchi Kuchi, see? I got it right. Uchi Kuchi. <laughs> B 
But yeah, like, like, like he's much better at um writing characters with trauma. Because Mikan is a character with a lot of trauma. And I see where he's going for it, what he's going for. But the problem is all the characters are then added on, like has a stereotype added on top. And the stereotype is kind of a bad one to have on top of a character with so much trauma that she was abused physically and mentally by everyone around her her entire life, you know? <clears throat> anyway, that's enough of me whining about that. I'm more worried about Mikan than Nagito. She looks like she's had no time to rest. Nagito's probably not doing so well. What about you? Are you guys done with the transmission? As I expected, we wrapped it up quickly, like they had nothing new to report. They're apparently trying to find a cure somehow, but there hasn't been any progress. So, on both our ends, it looks like we had no results. Jeez, oh well, let's look forward to tomorrow. With a depressingly heavy mood riding on our backs, we headed back to our cottages. I do like the Blair emo, I'm not gonna lie, I do like that one. I'm starting to actually quite like my hand-drawn emotes. The, the emotes I've done myself, not hand-drawn, the other ones were hand-drawn. But I'm liking my emotes enough that I will probably replace all the bear ones at least. The Scooby ones are never going anywhere. I could never draw, draw Scooby better than she could. <sighs> my worries have piled so high that one side just isn't enough. And the more I think about it, it's like I'm slowly being sucked deeper and deeper into an endless pit. I guess for today, I should just go to sleep. It's best if I not dwell on it too much. And not just that, first thing in the morning, I need to go to the hospital again. I kept telling myself that as I sigh sighed one last time and slowly closed my eyes. The bear ones? So yeah, I already, like, my, my me emotes were always me as a bear, right? Like, these ones. Uh... So I won't get rid of all of them, because some of them I know people really like, and some of them I really like. But ones like Faint and stuff like that, I wouldn't mind getting rid of. Like this one, I wouldn't mind getting rid of as well. I don't really like that one myself. Um, I'll probably get my own version of Hay as well. It'll be a bit of a mix, ma mix and match. But I, I might just put all of them onto BTTV. And then be like, yeah, that's where they all are now. Out of the blue, a hazy scene began to take shape. From the depths of my consciousness, it slowly took its time, hazily. Like watercolor paint suspended in water. Slowly, hazily. There was a classroom from somewhere. A classroom that I've seen before. But I don't know where. I can hear voices. Somebody's talking. Did you hear? Isn't it amazing? Apparently he's being accepted into Hope Speak Academy. But was he that exceptional? Those are noises. I'm dully start staring out of the window, pretending not to listen. I don't want to listen. But even if I don't want to listen, the noises leap into my ears. Huh? You don't know? Eh, know what? Apparently you don't have to be exceptional to get into Hope Speak Academy. But it's an academy that recruits only exceptional students from around the world, right? I wanted to cover my ears. I wanted to run. To the place I deserve to be, not here. To the place where I can be more confident. Wow, I never knew that w that, that way was possible. So he's the same too, obviously. I mean, he doesn't have any special talents that Hope's Big Academy would be interested in. He's just a normal guy who could be found anywhere. Well, admiring the Academy is free, but it must be tough for the parents who have to write the check. Leave me alone. I just, I just want to become someone who's confident in myself. What is this anyway? Who are they talking about? Why can't I remember? Who am I? Be back meeting. Good luck with the meeting, my friend. It's good that you appreciate your own art enough to realize that. Hey, hey. I, I am liking my emotes. They, 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 they make me laugh. <laughs> they make me laugh. Did you know that talking about a personal failure is a good way to break the ice when meeting new people? So I'm going to tell you the story of my personal failure. In the world world I live in, popularity is a symbol of power. And that's why I decided to write a fake love letter to myself so I could brag about it to others. I was bragging about it to my friend, but unfortunately all I had was an envelope. When my friend wanted me to show him the unwritten letter, I was in a real bind. So I showed him a blank piece of paper and said this. 
This letter was written with special ink. Only those chosen by God can see it. <laughs> when I said that, he was all... That love letter was brimming with passion. However, things started looking bad at that point. The other people around us started praising him because they thought he really could read the letter. That's when he started hogging everyone's attention as a divine messenger of God. And eventually, he was worshipped by society. Now, he uses his followers to sell shady vases for a quick buck. Thanks to my big mouth, he became a multi-millionaire. How regretful. What an epic fail. That was my story of personal failure. What did you think it was? Is this an is that ice broken? Since you listened to me, wanna buy this vase? It's a pretty high demand, but I'll give you a deal on it because I like you so much. Hmm. It's morning, huh? But for some reason, my body's heavy. No, not just heavy, it's somewhat soft and really hot. Wait a minute. Again? Hurry up and move! I... I... I can't breathe! Mm, you've stopped <laughs> I finally killed you with my bosom! Now I can sleep! I can finally relax. Wait, huh? You! Cyanosis again! <laughs> Jimmy's gone limp! Wah, please get a hold of yourself! Uh -huh. Ah, he regained consciousness. Oh, I'm so glad. I thought you died from suffocation. M Mikan, why are you why are you here? The Monokuma announcement hasn't aired yet. Uh, now that you mention it. Uh, I came here to wake you up, but it seems like I accidentally fell asleep. What kind of accident is that? But... Death by Booby? I'm sure you went limp. <laughs> but good news. You, you see, the Gio's condition has stabilized. R really? And I rushed over to let you guys know, but Fuyuhiko's room was locked, so... Oh yeah, my lock is still broken. Thanks, Ibuki. Yes. Anyway, please hurry over. The Gio could probably be saved. Y yeah, got it. I quickly got dressed and headed over to the hospital with Mikan. Although I did wonder why it was necessary to be so pumped up for someone like the Gio. Oh well, best not to think about it. Nagito is in his patient's room. Please hurry and see how he's doing. Um. The Monokuma announcement hasn't played yet, so I believe Ibuki is still sleeping. I don't really know if that's true or not, though. I'm sorry, I spoke without your permission. But it'd be bad if we woke her up, so please check on Nagito first. Okay. Hey, he's up and dribbling. There I saw Nagito, who managed to sit up in his bed. Nagito, can you hear me? Haj Hajime came by to see you. How are you doing? The twin Ibukis are singing. I see. Ibuki must have, must have been a twin duo. The Veronicas. Is he supposed to be cured? It's not like he's completely cured. He was just able to recover from his critical condition. They were utilizing their characteristic as twins, and they've been taking turns appearing before me. <coughs> oh god. I'm still an icky bear, obviously. Which means there are actually 17 people on this island. The Veronicas, that's the answer. Hmm, after seeing this, it might have been better if he stayed quiet for just a little bit longer. But I'm so glad. I'm so relieved Nikita regained consciousness. I'm so glad. I feel dizzy. Somehow everything is spinning around me. Didn't you get some rest already? You should be exhausted from nursing without any sleep, right? Then if you insist, I will use the uncle room upstairs. You must be mentally exhausted, so it's better if you relax in the lobby instead. Yeah, I'll do that. Then even though it's the morning, good night. Mikan wobbled around a bit, then left the room. She's definitely exhausted. Well, it's understandable. I mean, she fell asleep and she was supposed to come wake me up. Man. All alone with Hajime, huh? I can't stand being in the same room as you. 
Don't worry, I'm leaving. You should focus on curing that crappy disease of yours. Yeah, hurry up and go away. I don't want to see your face anymore. Wow, he hates me, guys. He really hates me. Is there going to be another Ibuki jump scare? No. Morning Monokuma announcement should be starting soon. I should wait at the lobby for the transmission. Huh? The surveillance camera unit's light is blinking. But that's weird. It's not transmission time yet. If the light is blinking, it receives some sort of transmission from the other side, right? But that's pretty early. We haven't even received the Monokuma announcement yet. It might be something urgent, though. If so, there's no way I can make them wait until Fuyuhiko gets here. Alright, even if it's just me, I should receive the transmission. I reach my hand and press the reception button on the surveillance camera unit. Huh? From first glance, I immediately knew it wasn't a normal video. A, a slowly swaying dim light is shining on the black curtains. It felt like some sort of ritual was about to begin. Is this light from a candle? But what was creepiest of all was the rope hanging from the ceiling. The end of the rope was tied in a loop, and beneath it, there was a step ladder. It was like a gallows. But what is this? I didn't understand at all. What's going on at the music venue? And what's and that's when it happened. The moment I saw a silhouette slowly entering the frame from the side of the screen, chills ran down my spine as if someone was dragging ice on me. A person wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head. What the? As I raised my voice in surprise, the person in a hospital gown slowly started moving and began climbing the step ladder. Slowly, slowly, they took their time climbing it. They reached over to the rope hanging from the ceiling. Are you kidding me? And at that moment... Huh? The screen suddenly went pitch black, probably because of the candle the only source of light had gone out. Hey! No matter what I said, there was no response from the darkness on the other end of the monitor. What the heck is this? What's going on? What in the world is going on? No, it doesn't matter. I have to do something about this. I might still be able to make it. I need to hurry over to the music venue. I rushed out of the hospital and ran over to the music venue where the transmission was made. Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Now then, another perfect tropical day, day, guys. Make sure to give yeah, it a yeah. Just now, that was the morning Monokuma announcement. Fuyuhiko should be arriving here shortly. No, I don't have time to wait for him. I've got to get to the music venue. Do we? Sorry, I'm running the other way for my egg. Because the egg hasn't had a chance to hatch yet. Because this is very story heavy on this end. My egg still didn't hatch. I've only got 11 though. There you go. Right, it needs to get to despair level six. And then stay at six. Have a good lark walk. Please, please let me make it. I rushed into the music venue with a prayer in my heart. But I completely forgot. Prayer means nothing on this island. I was too late? What, what the hell is this? In the hot air inside the music venue, I couldn't keep myself from shouting. Hot air? Why? Is it so hot? What is this strange hot air inside the music venue? No, now's not the time to worry about that. More importantly, why isn't anybody coming? What is everyone doing? Ah, the body discovery announcement. That's right. There hasn't been an announcement yet. That's why nobody's noticed yet. But then I need to hurry and let the others know. 
From here, the motel is close by. There should be a lot of able-bodied people who can help me there. I, I should hurry. I ran to the motel as fast as I could, trying desperately not to trip over my own feet. Hey, somebody, get out here! As soon as I arrived in the motel, I started shouting for help as loud as I could. I was wondering who was making such an infernal racket, so it was you. G Gundam, something awful has happened. Don't tell me, do you tend to spread their path... Pathogenic bacteria, so you can take us all down with you. you. If you want to pass, you must defeat me first. What happened? Is there a problem? Fighting is not allowed. It's worse than trouble. There's a body. Huh? Didn't you hear me? A body was found. B-b-b-b-body? Could it be? Do you intend to spread lies like Nagito in order to confuse us all? Hold on. Hajime, is that true? Uh, of course it is. Isn't it obvious? Tiaki, you have seen Nagito's condition, yes? This fiend just has the same symptoms as him. But still... There's no way we shouldn't check it out, because if Hajime is telling the truth, that means it happened again, right? What? A good killing hey. If that's true, we need to check it out. If that is the case, I will not stop Leave you. This Leave this to place me. to me, and you fiends go on ahead. <laughs> no need to worry. I will catch up with you easily. Um... That sounds like famous last words. Tiaki, can you go? Yeah, it's better if we hurry, right? <laughs> no need to worry. Who do you think I am? No matter the trap, it is mere child's play compared to me. I should destroy any and all traps. Huh. But, but is it really true? You know, um, uh, but, but, but... Just saying it out loud is horrifying. You seriously are a loud one. Your presence alone ruins tense situations. My presence ruins tense situations? That sounds like an important problem. How long have I been making that mistake? Space Ever your since your character was formed. <laughs> that goes for you too. You certainly talk big now. These guys get along? <laughs> it's hard to say. Presence, I want presence. Hey, acrylic, how's it going? Ah, Hajime. We can? Why are you here? Perfect timing. Please help us, Hajime. Uh, help us? Ah, uh, Hajime, someone's coming from over there. Hajime and Chiaki, what are you guys doing here? Vihiko, why are you here too? Isn't it obvious? I'm looking for a buki. Looking for a buki? Um, I was planning to rest in the uncle room, but I wanted to check on everyone before I did that. Uh, and the buki's missing from the hospital all of a sudden. Huh? So, what Hajime was saying earlier... Everyone, let's hurry. Um, hurry where? To the music venue. Don't ask, just follow me. Music venue? Is Ibuki gonna be there? I hope you're doing well. Ibuki's missing from the hospital. That's even more reason for us to worry. Is Ibuki gonna be at the music venue? Huh? Music venue? What's gonna be there? Just follow me already. Well, we're all there. <laughs> they, they, they don't need to follow us anymore because we are here. Damn it. Uh, my wound hasn't completely healed yet. Don't make me run too much. Hey. Is Ibuki inside here? The only way to know is to go inside and confirm if that hand body is really Ibuki. Let's go. I clenched my teeth and reached my hand toward the door. Huh? huh? What the heck? Why is it locked? That, that doesn't make sense. I mean, I was able to go through that just a few minutes ago. Wait, but then, why don't we try from another entrance? No. This is the only entrance to the music venue. There isn't even a window we can go through. But why is it locked? Hmm. I don't understand it myself, Let's but... Go. If it won't open, the only thing we can do is force our way through. Mm. Mm, I wonder if that's going to be possible. Of the four of us, two of us are girls, you know. It doesn't matter do if you, you can do it or not. We have to try. Right. Let's go. We're all charged at the same time. Ready, set, uh... go. A Fuyuhiko signal. We charge into the door at full force. Oh, the door moved. Maybe it'll open easily after all. Yeah, even with two girls. Chiaki, girls can be tough. Look at Akane. Let's go. All right, one more time. A Fuyuhiko signal. We charge into the door one more time. It was like a live performance had just ended. That moment of silence just before the audience breaks out into thunderous applause. And a few minutes after that silence, a scream surfaced. <laughs> the 
there wasn't just a hanged body, there was also another body, a suspended body, belonging to Hyoko. Well, well, well. She's just hanging, no worries. They're both just hanging out. It's a music venue after all, right? A body has been discovered. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. A body has been discovered. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. Two body discovery announcements in a row. That means... A hanged body with a hemp bag on its head. Yoko suspended body. Both of these bodies have been discovered at the same time. What? What, what is this? Hiyoko and... Who the hell is the other one wearing the hemp bag? Could it be? Could it be two victims? But, but, when I was here earlier, I didn't see Hiyoko's body. I only saw that hand body over there. No, not even ten minutes passed, but still, why? Yeah. Well, what is this? <gasps> impossible, 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 impossible. It's impossible for killings to happen on this island. Shut, the hell up. Shut up, idiot. This is just... For now, we should lower that person wearing the hemp bag to the ground. Leaving like that is just too sad. Yes. Ah, but what about preserving the scene of the crime? Right. Who fucking cares about um, that? The, there's a control panel for the baton light on the wing of the stage. You could lower the body with that. That one. Vika ran over to the wing of the stage and pressed the button on the control panel. With a motorized sound like the growl of a starving beast, the baton lighting slowly descended. When it descended enough for us to reach it, we all worked together to lower the body. Now, I'm going to take off the hemp bag, okay? Uh, even though I expected it, I still didn't want to confront that reality. Under the hemp bag, there was no denying that the face I saw belonged to Ibuki. Damn it! Uh, it's all my fault. If only I did a better job watching over Ibuki. <laughs> You're wrong. It's not your fault, Mikan. No matter how we feel, the one at fault is... What's the matter? Jeez, it felt like someone died in here or something. Hey. So you finally showed up, the root of all evil. How dare you call your big brother the root of all evil. I even went to the trouble of bringing everyone for you. Bringing everyone? Ah, are you kidding me? What the hell is going on here? I Ibuki and Hiyoko? What? Uh, so two people have been killed. What? Oh, that, that's not all. I've also summoned the others who were at the hospital. The others? Looks like another serious incident occurred while I was unaware. I can't believe that this is a horrible thing. Nagito, Akane, are you okay? Huh? huh? Of course. <laughs> what do you mean, of course? No Why are you talking about the despair disease? Jeez, you guys. That stuff is totally over now. Uh, over? Yeah, because I got bored. That's... For that silly reason? <laughs> and now that the killing has started, there's no need to keep that motive around anymore. Yeah, that despair disease is gone now. So you don't have to worry about it anymore. What, what, what the heck? That's impossible. How can you spread a disease and cure it so easily? Ah, uh, who cares about that itty bitty details? What matters is that it's already been cured. <laughs> so let's go back to our main topic. Proceed as <laughs> usual. Ba -ba, kill a hemp. Kill a hemp. Kill a hemp. Even. A buki has been discovered. Sadly, a buki has been discovered. O seven a buki. I would O seven Hiyoko, but to be fair, her mouth gets on my nerves. See ya later. She has been wishing death on everyone else as well. So like. Of all the characters, you can just genuinely not feel too sorry for. Hiyoko is one of them. I'll be waiting at the class trial. Do your best to investigate. Uh, again? We have be. to do this again? We have no choice. Like last time, if this means one of us killed these two, then we cannot let this be. <laughs> it's like, who cares? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, why do we have to do this? Thinking like that won't do anything. We have to do this. If we don't do anything, we'll be executed. Uh, abandon mean? your overdependence and complaints this instant. Those have no place in this world. But but what about Nakamaru? What's going to happen to him? 
Is he not going to participate this time? Is that even allowed? <laughs> ne Nekumaru. Huh? That's, weird. That's strange. I'm crying. What, ha what happened to me? Looks like lingering after effect of the despair disease. It's nothing for you to worry hey. about. Are you okay? Yeah. Fortunately, it seems like I have nothing to worry this about. Since you have the liar disease, your after effects could be lies. Maybe? Please leave Nekumaru to me. Everyone must, must focus on investigating, so I must do my very best. Alrighty, Alrighty I will definitely bring back Nekamaru and win everyone's trust. Um, it seems we should leave Nekamaru to Monami. What about guarding this area? Do we still need it? I'll stay. I still don't feel good yet. Um, um it's better if I stay here too, right? I should perform the autopsy again, right? Damn right. Then I'll leave that to you. Um, and let's get started so we can end this nightmare for good. That's right, we need to end this. We need to finish this once and for all. I know there's no way we can believe that one of us did this. But for those two sake, we need to find the truth. And then we need to end this nightmare once and for all. Huh? Like, I've been putting up with this for a while. But why is it so damn hot in here? I hate being hot. It's because your clothes are so smothering. It's not. You literally said it was hot. <laughs> Leave him alone. Yeah, I seriously can't stand it. I'll let you guys investigate this place. And so Kazichi left the music venue under a cloud of grumbling complaints. But it really is hot. In fact, it's swelteringly hot. Why is it this hot? No, before that, I need to check the Monokuma file first. There are two victims this time. Ibuki Miyoda and Hyoko Sayonji. Si si Sayonji even. Ibuki Miyoda's cause of death was a crushed windpipe as a result of choking. There are no other external injuries. Hyoko Seonji's cause of death was blood loss to her throat, being slipped by a sharp-edged tool. It appears the death was instant. What the? Is this it? I already knew the cause of death from the beginning, so this isn't going to be a useful clue. Hmm. It's strange. Why did the killer kill two people? Huh? I mean, the more people you kill, the more clues you leave, right? So so I don't think it's really necessary to kill two people and take that kind of risk. I agree with that. Mm. Or was there a reason that they had to kill two people? A reason for killing two people? Regardless, something like this shouldn't be forgiven, so... I will find out. I will definitely find the truth behind this case. That's what I think. Seriously, I'd really prefer if she had more confident-sounding catchphrase. Alright, let's talk to people. Like it has this. happened once again. Two of my cherished friends died at the same time. I cannot believe oh, it. Cool. This is the place where Ibuki sang for Fuyuhiku. Hiyoko looked like she was having so much fun listening to her music. And now those two are no longer here. <laughs> Such a tragedy. I understand how you feel, but please get a hold of yourself. Whoever our friends were killed, that's all the more reason why we can't just leave this alone, right? So just we must do this then. For the sake of those two who have fall fallen. <laughs> if only I'd known us sooner, Ibuki might have been saved. Hey, when did you realize Ibuki was missing? Um, after leaving Nagito's room, I went to the encore room, and that's when it came to me that I should go check on how everyone in the hospital was doing one more time before I go to sleep. And so I went to the patient rooms and noticed that Ibuki was gone. So I quickly ran out of the hospital. So that's what happened. And then I saw Fuyuhiko in front of the hospital, so I asked him if he could help me look for Ibuki. <laughs> That reminds me, where were you? I thought you were resting in the lobby. That is a long story. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not like I doubt you or anything. There's no way I doubt you because we've been together since this morning. You're right, we were together until you went to the uncle room. That's right, we were together until just a little before the, mo before the morning Monokuma announcement. So, so I don't doubt you, I'm telling the truth. Um, is it alright if I continue with my autopsy? If you talk to me again later, I'll tell you what I know. So please, spare my life at least. What happened to not doubting me? Oh, she do doubt. She do doubt. Damn right. Hey, Hajime, take a look at this. Huh? What? Huh? Look what's in front of the door. This is a drumstick, right? It looks like it's broken. What happened to it? If something like that is in front of the door... You think it might be a really big clue? Why would this be a clue? Remember when we came to the music venue? If it won't happen, the only thing we could do is force our way through. Hmm, I wonder if that's going to be possible. Of the four of us, two of us are girls, you know. 
It doesn't matter if you can do it or not. We have to try. Let's go. We'll all charge at the same time. Ready, set, go. A vehicle signal. We charge into the door at full force. Bam. The door was locked when we tried to go inside, and the four of us charged into the door. But when I examined it, I found out that this door doesn't have a lock at all. Huh? The door is designed to be pushed open, and this is the shape of the handle. If a stick was used to bar the door here... Well, don't you think it would lock the door and keep it from opening? You mean you think this drumstick was used to lock the door? The broken drumstick on the floor in front of the door should be proof of that. Then how was the killer able to get out? Huh? I mean, the music venue doesn't even have windows. This door is the only entrance. If they locked the door from the inside, the killer wouldn't be able to escape outside. Maybe... The killer was still inside when we broke down the door to the music venue. And they waited until we were already at the scene of the crime to join us. You know, don't they use tricks like that a lot in mystery dramas and stuff? If that's the case, there might be evidence of that around here somewhere. Alright, I'm definitely gonna find it. I won't let the killer get away with this. The killer was still inside when we broke down the door to the music venue, huh? Like you said, that might be possible, but I heard what you two were discussing. Jackie, that was a kind of cool entrance. Besides the broken dumb drumstick, I've also discovered something interesting. What is it? See? Look, there's a weird blob where the right and left door touch, see? You're right, what is this? It looks too firm to think it's rubber. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't look like rubber, but... As she said that, Chiaki bent down, scraped off the semi-transparent glob, glob with her finger. Why are you putting it in your mouth? Uh, it smells like workshop chemicals. Workshop? And this chewiness. I see. This thing may be a glob now, but that doesn't mean it was a glob from the start. For instance, if it was originally a liquid that hardened into this, it might be possible to apply it directly and smoothly in the gaps of the door. What are you talking about? <laughs> Just as I thought. It tastes nasty. Kiaki spat the glob out of her mouth and left the area. Besides that bit about the taste, it's okay to consider this some kind of clue, right? I'm going to put globs in my mouth because I saw it on the internet. No! <laughs> Don't put nasty looking globs of green in your mouth. It might be someone else's booger. Mmm, globs. Hajime. Hajime, this might be impudent of me to ask, but will you listen to what I have to say? Hey. I heard that you witnessed the incident from the very beginning, right? So what? <laughs> Can you provide me with a summary of the incident? I need to reach the truth behind this incident for the sake of de de dedicating my body to an even greater hope. No. Oh. Why? Don't make me repeat myself. No. This guy just wants to confuse us. There's no way I'm going to tell him what he wants to know. Oh, I see. That's disappointing. Hey, are you okay? Are you still not feeling well? Mm. Huh. Yeah, I don't really get it, but when I think about Nekamaru, it's like my knees start shaking. That's weird. There's no way I've got that kind of weakness. It'll probably go away if I battled a strong dude, but Nekamaru's not here. Nekamaru will definitely come back. You, you're right. <laughs> Even I'm horrified of my power, of the Eye of the Overlord. Well, what the heck is this? Oh, you stupid fool. I cannot believe you haven't noticed that abhorrent thing. Pitiful humans, they refuse to lift their heads up for fear of doubting the authenticity of the blue sky. Lift my head up? Does he mean there's something up there? Up where? Seems like a good idea. You two wanted. You two. That or Jello. It could be Jello, to be fair. Okay. Put all of the globs in your mouth just in case they are jello. New game show idea. Boogers or jello for or bogies or jelly for non-Americans. <laughs> That's something Dick and Dom would have done back in the day. The shattered remains of a machine were spread all over the floor. I see. This appears to be the surveillance camera unit. Kazuichi put it in the music venue out. for com communi communication purposes. Hmm. Why is it destroyed like this? Um, Perhaps criminal psychology is at play here. What do you mean? Well, Even if they know they are not being recorded, there is no way the killer would tolerate committing a murder in front of a camera. So that's why they destroyed the camera. Hmm. Seems plausible enough. They'd hesitate to murder someone in front of the camera, and that's why the killer destroyed this? Then what was that thing I saw? 
There's a black curtain hanging at the far side of the stage. This curtain is not wide enough. It can't reach from one edge of the stage to the other. Huh? It's not really a full-length curtain. This curtain wasn't originally here, right? If it was, it's strange that it doesn't fit properly. Mm. It was probably obtained from the furniture section of the supermarket. See, the back of the curtain... Pokies? Oh, that's a 6.9 on the meter. How would the bear respond? I am not playing your silly game. I am a respectable bear. I will refuse. I refuse. I also need to sort out text-to-speech. I keep forgetting to sort out my alerts. See, the back of the curtain is taped for temporary. Mainly, I don't think I can say anything louder anymore, else I might actually have a boogie accident. <laughs> I'm struggling to talk without coughing up boogies as it is. See, the back of the curtain is taped for temporary use, just like the curtain at the supermarket. So you're saying someone took the time to actually bring that curtain from the supermarket. If they went that far, this was probably something that the killer really needed for this crime. Why did they need it? Who knows? Well, it wouldn't be a mystery if the answers come easy. Okay, well that was the curtain. The stepladder is tipped over on its side. This must be the stepladder that Ibuki used in the video I saw. Ah, isn't that a blood stain? Look, there's a blood around the left side of the stepladder. As I recall, Ibuki didn't have any external injuries. If that's the case, then it must be Hiyoko's blood. That's the only thing I can think of. A blood stain that probably belongs to Hiyoko is on the left side of the stepladder. What does it mean? But who cares? <laughs> yeah, all the Americans are like, what the fuck are they talking about? Funny enough, if he was here, Leo knows about Dick and Dom and be a bogeys. There's a massive candle position near the front of the stage. The dull light in that video must have been coming from this candle. A candle this huge might be perfect for lighting, but... They didn't need to bother using a candle. They could have just used the normal stage lighting. Of course he does. I can't remember who, but someone did a video of it. I remember him getting, like, really excited about shouting bogeys at, um... Grizz when he came to the UK. Ibuki had a hemp bag on her head and was hanging from the ceiling. But why did she have a hemp bag on her head? Wait, huh? That hemp bag, on further inspection, there's a monomy decal on the front. Fabric. It looks like this isn't just a normal bag. It's the rope that was tied to the baton lighting on the ceiling. Ibuki hanged herself with this rope and died. From what I can tell, it looks like a regular length of rope with no unnatural features. But despite the fact this music venue has a storage room, there shouldn't have been any rope in there. Which means, was it obtained from the supermarket? Did the killer bring it from there? That means that anybody could have obtained this rope, and it means it'd be difficult to use this as a clue. I wonder if that's true, huh? Oh, I just know it's a little something. Is it okay if I confirm it? Excuse me, Mikan, do you have a moment? Um, what's happened? There's something I want to ask you. There's no doubt Ibuki's cause of death was being hanged by this rope, right? Y yes, she had no other external injuries. So there's no doubt she died from hanging herself. I see, I see. So Ibuki died by hanging herself. That was obvious from the moment we discovered the body. You might not have seen it, but we all saw that she hanged herself. <laughs> You're right. Yep, I got it. So this rope won't be much of a clue. Then I might as well search another place. Jeez, as usual, I have no idea what he's up to. Okay. Now look at Ibuki then. Ibuki's body lay atop the stage. She's wearing the hospital gown she was wearing when she was sick. Huh? What's this on Ibuki's feet? I didn't notice when she was hanging, but the soles of her feet are dirty. It's blood, right? There shouldn't be any external injuries on Ibuki. If that's the case, this blood belongs to someone else. Damn right. Hey, Hajime, can I talk to you for a sec? 
You already discovered the body before you met up with us, right? Yeah, at first I didn't know it was Ibuki because of the hemp bag, though. But I knew right away she was dead since she was hanging from that rope. Like... Which means Ibuki must have died before Hiyoko was tied up. Well, that helps. There's no time of death written in the Monokuma file this time. So I wasn't really sure who died first. You see, I noticed that as well. It's true. The estimated time of death wasn't written in the Monokuma file this time. But I should know when Ibuki died because I personally saw it. In that video, Ibuki was climbing the stepladder on her own. So right after that... Wait, hold on. If Ibuki climbed that stepladder and died right after, does that mean she committed suicide? No, that's impossible. Because even if Ibuki committed suicide, it doesn't explain Hiyoko's death afterwards. Two different deaths happened at the same time. There's no way that's a coincidence. Yeah, you're in the way of Hiyoko. Hiyoko's body is suspended against the pillar on the side of the stage. She's wrapped against the pillow with duct tape, and she looks like she's been forced to forced to stand upright. Damn it, who did this? According to the Monokuma file, her cause of death was a slit throat. Her neck looks like it stopped bleeding, probably because of the duct tape wrapped around it. But why is Hiyoko's kimono like this? Her kimono is all disheveled. Also, her sash is tied in the front. Did the killer do this too? But when did the killer kill Hiyoko? Don't ingest plastic. Recycle this. Don't recycle that. Clean the container. Reuse there and throw it out. No greasy pizza boxes. What does this have to do with our safety? Yeah, how is that a safety meeting? <laughs> how has that got anything to do with your safety? Other than the don't eat things. <laughs> When I first discovered Ibuki's body, I didn't see Hiyoko's body here. If that's the case, Hiyoko was killed. It must have been during the time I was getting everyone before I came back here. But that was barely 10 minutes. Is it really possible that the killer killed Hiyoko and taped her up in such a short amount of time? Even if it is possible, whoever did it would have had a narrow window of time to do so. Because the killer must be someone who doesn't have an alibi during that time, right? Ah, Hajime, do you have a minute? No, you're in the way. Oh, no. I don't wish to be in your way at all, but there's something I really need your help with. Help? Actually, If you look closely, there's an unnatural shape bulging from inside Hiyoko's kimono. So I was thinking she might be hiding something. Wait, hold on. Don't tell me you want me to search inside Hiyoko's kimono. Oh, oh that's exactly Why? it. Well, it would have been a problem if she were alive, but she's dead now, you know? Don't mess with me. Are you saying there's no problem with that now that she's dead? Fine, if you don't want to do it, I'll just have to ask someone else. Hey, hey Akane! Yeah. yeah, what's up? Hey. Well, there's something I want you to do for me. It looks like there's something inside Hiyoko's kimono, so can you feel around for that? What? Uh, I don't really understand, but I'm just going to check Hiyoko's kin kimono, right? Thanks. Thank you, Akane. Helping each other is such a wonderful thing. No, hmm, let's see. Can he reach through the duct tape binding Hiyoko? The duct tape binding Hiyoko as she stuck her hand inside her kimono. Damn it, she's tied up so tight, I can't really reach with my hand. Oh wait, hold on. There's something. Is this what you're looking for? Is this a key? Perhaps. It looks different than the keys to the cottage. So this may be the key to her motel room. The key to her motel room? Huh. If her key was so deep inside her kimono, that it'd be hard to remove. Then it's very unlikely that the killer tampered with this evidence. Isn't that right? Because if this is a trap, they would have put in put it more toward the front of the kimono so we'd notice it easier. Which means we could conclude this is something Hiyoko had with her all along. Wait, the little girl died? They did, yes. And Ibuki, the rock star, died. No choke choking at work? My daily choking is ruined? If you want to do that, do it in your own time and with consent. Exactly. Hiyoko and Ibuki, yes. Hey. Also, it's not like I'm adding to that or anything. But you looked like you were curious about the condition of Hiyoko's body, right, Hajime? Of course, that's why I'm investigating. It's true, there are several mysteries regarding her body. Well, just hear me out for a second. Out of all those mysteries, what I think is the strangest is... See? The way they wrapped her body with that duct tape. It's almost like they were trying to hide the wound on Hiy Hiyoko's neck, don't you think? Hide the wound on her neck? I don't really know if that was their true intentions, but I guess it's not. It's a big help for our investigation. The reason for the low volume of blood is because the duct tape is acting as a compress, right? If her body was left alone after her throat was slit, 
The surrounding area would be a sea of blood. Sea of blood, huh? Two dead bodies floating in a sea of blood. That's enough to make anyone faint. With her arms crossed and a thoughtful look on her face, Jackie was silently staring at the stage floor. Something dropped on the floor mm. there. Nothing dropped, it's just dirty. Dirty? Hey, hey. See, take a close look at the floor. See? If you look closely, you're right, it's a smudge as if something was wiped off. Wait, this isn't something. Is that a bloodstain? Yep. Well, a bloodstain isn't strange. Hyoku's neck was slashed not far from here. So Bravo, what strange is, why did the killer try to hide it? Hide it? So... If they weren't trying to hide it, they wouldn't have bothered wiping it off. The reason the killer wiped off the bloodstain, as long as the body is nearby, there's no way they'd be able to conceal the crime by wiping off the bloodstain. So what was the killer trying to hide? Okay. I think that's... Everything. Yeah. Oh, I mean, the temperature. This looks like the music venue's AC unit. That's right. You might be able to adjust the hot air in the music venue with this. All right. I should I should mess around with it a little. Like so, it's running as a heater over 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I know why it's so damn hot. I better turn off the heater for now. That should cool things off a little. Okay. There's a control panel in the wing of the stage. Seems you can use this control panel to raise and lower the baton lighting on the ceiling. In fact, we use this to lower Ibuki's hand body. Speaking of the lighting, the video of the music venue I saw had a dim candlelight amb ambience to it, and it didn't look like this lighting was used at all. Why didn't they just use this lighting? Was there some reason that wouldn't would have inconvenienced them? I see. So you noticed too, fiend. Huh? Noticed? So you didn't notice. Hmm. Why oh, those eyes just look glass balls? Take a good look at the baton lighting above your head. Have you not noticed that aberrant item? Look at the baton lighting. You mean that? There's something that looks like a black paper stuck to the baton light lighting. <laughs> so you finally noticed. But I can't really... But I can't really see it from here. I should lower the baton lighting one more time and... There is no need. Go, go Mirage Golden Hawk Jumpy. Now is the time for you to make take flight. Wahaha, <laughs> feast your eyes upon the brave souls of my four dark divas of destruction. A hamster launched itself, get, launched itself from Gundam's hand and ran up to the baton lighting on the ceiling in a flash. Fucking hamsters. Choo-choo. It started running around the stair, stuck slip of paper in rapid circles. And then the paper fluttered downward and was de definitely caught by Gundam. <laughs> Did you see that? Behold the power of the ultimate evil eye wielder. Wow, that is amazing. I have never seen a hamster do tricks. They're my four dark divas of destruction. Hamsters are merely their temporary form. So what's with that paper? Hmm, it seems to be some kind of thick paper. Though it does not have any special spell scribed into it. That was close. It appears it's nothing useful. No, that's not it. There's no doubt this is some this is some kind of clue. I mean the fact that it was stuck in a place like that, no matter how we think about it, it's too unnatural. Bakugan bro. Right, do I have anything else? There's a door that says staff only. Looks like the inside is a storage room. I might as well investigate in here too. In we go, in we go, in we go. Oh, look at this. But we've got two minutes till my ad break, so I'm going to do a little bit of an extra ad break here so that I can go and... Oh my god. There we go. So that I can go and stretch some more as well. So I will be RB. Burp. Right. <laughs> we we got Brexit so that we could pog us in our passports. Huh? If I can't have a pog in my passport, what's it, what's the, what's the point of having a passport? 
Actually, I'd rather be working on my novel some more. It's called Penny the Pudgy Pyromania. You're an author? What's your name? Penny. Don't volunteer for the night shift, they said. Oh, no. Guys! Literally, it's Leo! He's a pyromaniac! I was giving a PP up. Way to get a the hand, fully hand grenade to put you right in the hole. Oh, that has to be. I'm here in the hole. This is what I've been waiting for. Nice. <laughs> you are so much Oh my god, you see that! This is his final words. I'm tanking. <laughs> What the fuck is that? <laughs> they closed okay. the door, but it's not. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? I got the I bell! Got e Guys, I just got EMF 5. Yeah, because it dinged the bell when I was in there. No. Well, I mean, like, outside. What the oh, fuck? Because you walked by and Anna had the bell in her hand. That's so weird. Hi, <laughs> right, this is great. Really excited to see you get into the spirit things. Added one of mine so we could be side by side. Pretty thinking he balances the space well. Oh! Oh! I did not notice the corn there. Oh. Hello, Mr. Corn. My name is Bruno Gu Naraholdo. Why? Give me a second, guys. We need to answer the question. What do you think of mermaids? Okay, can we get a Yarrow answer on this? What do you think of mermaids? Oh my god! I have one more. One more heal. Oh. 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 Fucking 
did it go? I did fucking did it. We're pretty much back. We're pretty much back, so I will. Oh wait. I might have uh, sat back a little bit in my chair, and my and my model was not picking up my mouth. <laughs> now it is, though. Hopefully. All right. We got ten seconds. Thank you for the welcome back. Um. I need to do everything to get my desk sorted. I still haven't actually done that yet. <sighs> right, let's go. Uh, let's have a look around. You can see your whole body in this huge full-length mirror. It's probably used for checking costumes. With a mirror this big, it'd be easy to check how you look. There's a lot of stickers with the venue's logo placed here. It's like they made a bunch of them and had too many left over. It feels somewhat depressing. Huh? Compared to the last time, it feels like there are less stickers than before. Am I overthinking this? We... We never came in here, I would like to point out. <laughs> There's a carpeting, wallpaper, and paint on the shelf. It's probably used for stage decorations. Hmm. There's thick black paper that's folded up on the lower shelf. It looks like wallpaper. There are a lot of stickers pasted all over the front side of this wallpaper. And this edge of the wallpaper. It looks like a little torn, but what does this mean? There's a lot of different musical instruments lined up here. I know about guitars and drums, but there are also instruments and machines that I've never seen before. But they don't look like they pertain to the case. Does Nagito pertain to the case? Nagito, did you come here to investigate the storage room too? <laughs> I just wanted to confirm what you were thinking. Is that it? Or is he trying to stand guard here? Well, how about it? Did you find any clues? You tipped over stepladder on the stage. The duct tape binding Hiyoko. That probably all came from the storage room. There might be other things from the storage room that they used for the crime. You always pretend to give me hints, but in the end, you're just going to be on the killer's side, right? Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm not siding with the killer, you know. I'm just on the side of whoever acts in the name of hope. That's all there is to yes. it. But that's the main reason why this case is really special, huh? Man. But I can't say for certain, though. What is this guy saying? As usual, he's not making any sense. Hajime. By the way, Hajime, I still don't quite understand the details of what happened. Right? Hey, if you could explain it to me in detail, I think I'd be able to give you some more useful information. Really, you might end up confusing us again instead. You don't want to find the truth, you just want to make us suffer. Okay. That's not true. I'm doing this because I believe it's for everyone's sake. Oh well. For the sake of everyone's hope, I'd gladly become the enemy, and I won't even mind when I die. <sighs> That's the main reason why. I can't overlook this case this time. Huh? What does that mean? Regardless, I guess you're not going to tell me, huh? Then it can't be helped. I guess I'll just rely on my gut feelings. Gut feelings? Hey. You should come by later too. I'll go there first and wait for you. Who exactly are you talking about? <laughs> well, obviously the movie theater. After you said that, the gator walked out of my sight. Movie theater? Why the sudden interest in the movie theater? Uh, I guess it's everything important in this storage room. I guess I should go back to the music venue. Okay. Out we go. All right, with this, we might be close to finish, to finishing. Wait, we might, we might be close to finished investigating the, finishing investigating the music venue. But I still need to talk to Mikan. I need to make sure I get these autopsy results from her. How about it, Mikan? Have you found out anything by now? Uh, to tell you the truth, it's been very inconclusive. But it's not my fault. This music venue is just too hot. But because of the heat, I can't estimate the time of death. Because of the heat, it's not possible. If a body is overexposed to heat or cold, you won't be able to determine a precise time of death. I see, that might have been the killer's goal. They covered up their time of death by using their heater to make the inside of the music venue hot. But that's weird. But even if this heat is the killer's doing, is there any reason for them to cover up the time of death? I agree. As long as I saw it, it should be clear what order the murders occurred. First was Ibuki, then Hiyoko. And as long as this is an Im imitation murder, there shouldn't be any mistake in the order of murders. Huh? Imitation murder? Huh? 
Uh, you don't know, Hajime. I thought everyone already knew. It's a murder where the killer uses a creative work, like a song or a film, as an outline for their killings. It's so common in detective novels, mangas, and video games that you start to get annoyed by it. How would an imitation murder be related to this murder? Well, based on the killing order and the way they were killed, it's clearly an imitation of that movie. That movie? The assumption is an imitation murder is the reason why the killer killed two people. The goal was an imitation killer. Even so, why did they feel the need to do something like that? Excuse me, if this was really an imitation of that movie, then is it possible that one more person might have been killed? This it's certainly conceivable. The if the killer wishes to complete the imitation... Uh, hold on a sec. What are you all talking about? An imitation murder. One more person might have been killed. <laughs> are you guys worried there's going to be another victim? Then no worries. Things will get out of hand too fast if a bunch of people could be killed at once. I'm a real cautious fella, so I've prepared a perfect countermeasure. Ahem. <clears throat> On this killing score trip, the same blacken can only kill a maximum of two people. You mean you've added another rule? Yep. Well, if killing everyone at once is okay, the blacken would be able to secure an easy victory, right? Yeah. This new rule will prevent that. Make sure you slam it into your tiny brains. Um. If it is a maximum of two people, then there will not be any more killings. I like the way they say killings as well, by the way. Um. Since you're here anyway, can I ask you one more thing? You know, I just want to confirm one of the class trial rules. I see, I see. As expected of you, you're very strict about games. I don't want to consider this possibility at all, and I don't even want to think someone would do this. If two cases occur at once, what happens if there are two killers? Eh? Like I said, I'm talking about the possibility that Ibuki and Hiyoko were killed by two different people. That would mean that two killers exist at the same time, but we can only vote for one person, right? If we can only choose one based on a majority vote, the other person could certainly achieve victory. Yep. Yeah, you're right. See? So what happens in that case? What about a case where there's, there's three incidents instead of two, or if four incidents overlap one another? Silence. Shut up! It's okay, I'll make extra sure something like that never happens. Hey. Meaning two killers can exist at the same time, so it's safe to say that applies to this case too, right? Wow. Ah. Like Alright, fine, fine. Yo, welcome in, Haruka. How's it going? Alright, fine, fine, fine. That's right. There's always one killer at any given time. Even if they had an accomplish, I'd have you figure out who the mastermind is. Man, I ended up giving you a huge hint. She made me say it. Yeah, my brains are not to be underestimated. I should just shut up and go back to my case. I see. So there's no possibility for two killers to exist at the same time. With this, I guess that narrows things down a little. Yep, that makes things a little easier. Plus, if the same killer can kill a maximum of two people, it means the third victim would be impossible. Imitation murder breakthrough. You guys keep saying that, and it sounds strange to me. What do you guys mean by Im imitation? Uh, could it be you haven't seen it? Seen it? Seriously, seen what? So... Like I said, that movie. Oh when we first explored this island, Monokuma was passing out invitation tickets. Then the imitation is... Of course, it's an imitation of that movie. Well, well based on the murders this time, it closely resembles that movie. As if they were copying it. As if they copied the movie? I see. Oh, also, good morning, Avia! I didn't see Avia pop in! Hello, Avia! Sorry, I missed you. I see. Nagito mentioned something about that. Then it can't be helped. I guess I'll just rely on my gut feelings. Gut feelings? You should come by later, too. I'll go there first and wait for you. Where exactly are you talking about? Well, obviously the movie theater. I see. So you haven't seen it. Still, it's not too late, I think. It's probably a good idea if you watch that movie before the class trial starts. Looks like I need to do that. Um, then I should get going, too. There are other places I want to investigate. Um, Where do you intend to go next, Chiaki? Um, probably the hospital, for sure. The first victim, Ibuki, was there. I don't know what was going on at the hospital in the first place. Right. Thanks to that despair disease, we could not go there for some time. How are you doing? Are you having a good day, Avia? She's right. It might be good for me to investigate the hospital, too. There might be some clues related to Ibuki's death. The clues related to Hiyoko's death, I should try going over to the motel. There's still a lot of things I can do before the class trial. I'll definitely give it my all until the end. So, to catch you up... Do you know what's going on? Ibuki and Hiyoko have both died, as you can see here. 
Ibuki hung herself, potentially, and Hyoko had a throat slash. And, um, then got duct taped to the pillar. We were also fighting a disease called the Despair Disease, but everyone's just better now. Everyone's just better. Everyone got better. Oh, we have a new pet. Well, we don't have a new pet yet. We have the baby pet. Uh, do a waddle. I just remembered I never went inside any of the rooms in the motel. Plus, I don't even know where Hiyoko's room is. It might be faster to just ask someone. Damn right. Hey, Hajime, can you explain it to me again? What happened when you first discovered Ibuki's body? It was the same as when I found it with you guys. Ibuki's body was hanging from the baton lighting. However, there was no body discovery announcement made. That's why I went to get you guys. I met up with Chiaki at this motel, and when we were about to go back to the music venue, he met with me up with Mikan and me, and we went back to the music venue. The entrance door wouldn't open for some reason. So we had no choice but to break down the door and discovered Hiyoku's body was suddenly there too. Yeah, that's what happened. This is the most important part. When you arrived at the motel, who else saw you beside Chiaki? Um, as I recall... Didn't you hear me? A body was found. b b, -b body yeah. Could it be? Do you intend to spread lies like Nagito in order to confuse us all? Besides Chiaki, I also saw Gundam and Monami. I see, I see. so K Kazuyuchi and Sonya didn't appear, huh? Do you think those two are suspicious? Well, Hiyoku was killed between the time we saw Ibuki's body and when we broke down the door, right? So obviously, those two are the most suspicious since they weren't with us. That, that might be it, but I... while we're at it, let me tell you my alibi too. When the morning Monokuma announcement woke me up, I went straight to the hospital. I saw Mikan panicking in front of the hospital. I asked her what's going on. She said Ibuki disappeared. So you guys split up and looked for Ibuki, huh? Oh, yeah. While we were circling the island, we came to the motel and saw you guys there. Did you see anyone else while you circled the island? No, we went to the movie theater and that street full of machines to look for Ibuki, but we didn't see anyone. Are you implying I don't have an alibi because I didn't run into anyone? It's unreasonable for you to doubt me. The time that Mikan and I were on our way looking for Ibuki wasn't very long. In that short time, there's no way I could have killed Hiyoko and wrapped her around the pillow with duct tape. It's true, I feel like there wasn't enough time to do that after I left the music venue. Every is so sleepy, my sleep has been but the last few days. I feel you on that, I feel you. How is Anna in chat? I'm fine. I'm doing okay. Unlock from unexpected work call. Oh, were you also told not to eat plastic? But the fact is, Hiyoko was killed and we did discover her body. Huh? What? You still doubt me? Jeez. Well, I'm used to it. It's true, I've done things that I deserve to be doubted for. Huh. So don't worry. Even if you doubt me, I don't Hello? plan on to say... Hello? Hello, Elio. How's it going? I don't plan on dismembering you and encasing you in concrete. I want to know in advance what I what what I'd have to do to end up like that. So I should still be able to. <laughs> oh yes, also Avia. We have learned that acrylic and watered would eat green globs without knowing what they are. We learned that as well. How's it going, Elio? So you have a piece. You're here, right? Come on out. Huh? Are you talking to me? I can see you. Did you really think you could hide your presence like that? I wasn't trying to hide in the first place. Hey, which room was Hiyoku staying in? Well. Open the door to the center room. <laughs> However, are you prepared? Make sure you pray to whatever god you hold dear, and you might want to bring an extra pair of underwear. <laughs> I wonder, how does this guy talk to his parents and teachers? I can't go into any other room other than Hyoko's anyway. Looks like it's locked, but the key was inside your kimono. Maybe if I use this. 
Not just green. Oh, just, just globs in general. They'll just eat globs no matter what. I hope you're doing well, Elio. It opened just as I thought. This key was Hiyoko's room key. All right, I should go inside. So, Hiyoko was staying here. He only stayed here a few nights, so it doesn't really feel like a room, but I feel a little conflicted. Oh my. Huh? Did the door open? Yeah, Hiyoko put the key in her kimono, so I used that to open it. I see. What? Did something happen? No, it is just... I am starting to believe it might be my fault. Her fault? What does she mean? What's the monokuma that I'm looking for in here? In the bathroom, apparently. Do we go in the bathroom? There's a mirror, but it's so small and rusty. There's no way anyone can use this. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm missing a different one. Oh god, could it be that one? Let me just double check. I hate this website. Ah! Uh. Why am I being stupid? No, it's definitely not in here. Right. The moment Hiyoko came to this motel, she completely shut herself in this room. She was afraid of the despair disease, so she was cautious of you guys too, However. right? However, her fear of the disease was not the only reason she locked herself in her room. She had another reason. Besides that disease, what other reason would make her lock herself in her room? Perhaps. Her kimono. Her, her kimono? Um. um, yesterday, I went to get, go talk to her. Since she had been in her room for some time, I told her it might be good for her to go outside for a bit. She kept the door to her room locked, but by coincidence, it was not locked at that time, and then I saw it. Um... Hiyoko was crying and struggling with a kimono sash. She did not want to smell bad, so she took a shower, but then she could not tie her sash anymore. My hero is no longer with us, so I believe she was having trouble with it. She didn't leave her room because she couldn't tie her kimono, huh? You are right. The others might have thought it was just a silly sash, but it must have been a serious issue for her. Um. Hiyoko told me that she learned how to tie her sash from Mahiru. The Mahiru kindly taught her the basics. That's why she wanted to be able to tie her sash on her own. Perhaps. She probably could not forgive herself for not being able to do it, especially since Mahiru's taught her. I, I could not really understand her feelings, which is why I said what I did. What did you say? Hyoko, by chance... Are you having trouble wearing your kimono? Stupid! What are you saying? Of course I can do it! Because Mahiru taught me. That's why I can do it on my own. Which one is it gonna be then? I... This one isn't in order of how I, I've missed them, apparently. Because I got the one in the hospital, which is meant to be the fourth one. I think it might be the one in Electric Avenue. Uh, um, if that is the case, how about you do it someplace where there is a mirror? Do you remember the full-length mirror in the storage room at the music venue? If you do it while standing in front of a large mirror, I am confident you will be successful. Also, shutting yourself in your room like this may be bad for your health. Um... And that was when she kicked me out. Could it be Hiyoko remembered that? 
Are you saying she went to the music venue to wear her kimono? Mm, I can see that happening. Yoko locked her room and made sure she put the room key inside her kimono. I can't imagine that she was abducted by someone. If so, that's weird. Hey, did you tell any but anyone about that before the incident? Or was someone listening in on your conversation? I, I never told this to anyone, and I do not believe anyone was listening in on our conversation. Nobody knew? If that's the case, how did the killer know Hiyoka was going to the music venue? Something's wrong. It was Sonya. 100%. Sonya did it. I don't see anything else that looks suspicious. There's no sign that someone made a mess of her room, and I don't think she was forcefully abducted. I feel like I couldn't really find any important clue. Oh well. Can I go to Electric Avenue? No, I've got this one as well. Oh, you know what? I'm being a dumbass. I'm being a dumbass. You know what it is, Warded? It's the fucking floating dead one in um the hospital. I always just thought that was actually part of the scene, but apparently it's that one. <laughs> You're welcome in, Lekka. How's it going? My favorite character in this one um, is usually... I, 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 I like all of them, but Soda is my boy. Right, I'll go to the hospital. We'll do the hospital. God damn it, I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Well? I feel like I haven't been here in a while, even though it's only really been a few days. Hey, you prepared that surveillance camera unit, right? Hey, hey. Yes, so? I didn't make any weird modifications or anything. It's not like I'm suspicious or anything. Didn't you get this from that shady-looking alley where all those machines were lined up? Right. Yeah, I just tweaked it a little. Then, if there are other surveillance camera units, would it be possible to transmit a signal to the hospital from those cameras Man. too? No, that's impossible. Originally, surveillance cameras and surveillance monitors are only used as part of the same unit. But yeah, in 2, I genuinely like pretty much every character. 2 is my absolute favorite for the characters. I don't really have a standout favorite in 2, because most of them are just really, really good. Originally, surveillance cameras and surveillance monitors are only used as part of the same unit. The video that was filmed of the hospital camera can only be viewed on the hospital monitor. The video that was filmed with the music venue camera can only be seen on the music venue monitor. <laughs> Cough, not Tataru. Yeah, he, him? He can get in the bin. But if I left it like that, we wouldn't be able to communicate, so I decided to swap the cameras. So that's how you guys were able to view the hospital fo footage from the music venue and vice versa. However, each surveillance camera unit manages its broadcast based on a specific number. So even if you bring the same model camera or monitor, you won't be able to interfere with the signal. Meaning, even if another surveillance camera exists, it would be impossible to broadcast with it. However, I didn't just swap the cameras. I modified them and increased the wireless range. If I hadn't done that, we wouldn't have been able to use it. Y you're right, you did work on that. Right, let's go get this fucking Monokuma. Okay, I should be allowed in there. This is the surveillance camera unit on top of the reception desk. As long as the music venue surveillance camera unit is destroyed, it's impossible to broadcast with this. Hajime. Hey, Hajime, there's something I want to ask you. You first discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue, right? But why did you go to the music venue? You had a reason for that, right? Did you see something with this camera? That's right. Oh, I also wanted to ask you that. It'd be different if the surveillance camera unit could record, but it's only good for household functions. Hey, hey. Tell me, Hajime. Yeah, that's exactly it. I saw a strange video in that surveillance camera unit. 
It showed the music venue stage. There was a black curtain hanging like there is now. But the whole display was pretty dark because they were just using candlelight. There was a rope hanging from the ceiling and beneath that there was a step ladder on the floor. And right away, a person wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head appeared. I didn't know who it was because their face was covered, but now I know that must have been Ibuki. She walked straight to the stepladder and without any hesitation, she climbed that stepladder on her own free will and then she grabbed that rope and that's all I saw. The candlelight being used must have been snuffed out or something because the screen went dark all of a sudden and it wasn't displaying anything anymore. Man. Well, if the candlelight goes out, obviously nothing will show up. Modern surveillance cameras have infrared functions, so things could still show up even in the dark. But the one I got from the machine alley was a really old model. Ah, uh, hold on. Well? At the time you said you didn't know the person wearing a hemp bag was a buki, right? Yeah. Hmm. You didn't know it was her, but you saw she was trying to hang herself. You rushed over to the music venue to try to stop her. I didn't make it in hey. time. Still, if she climbed the stepladder on her own, does that mean she committed suicide? Wouldn't that mean she's her own killer? Ibuki committed suicide? What do you think, Chiaki? Mm. There's no doubt Ibuki climbed the stepladder on her own, right? Yeah, there's no doubt. If so... Mm. Hey, don't think for so long. If you don't know, just be honest about it. But of course she doesn't. There's no way we'd be able to figure that out so easily. Mm. Oh yeah, I need to investigate the conference room on the second floor. Mm. I'm heading over there. <laughs> what the heck? She ran away all of a sudden. She said the conference room. Why would she mention the conference room all of a sudden? Also, I might just be overthinking, but did she seem a little upset? I fucking am. Right, let's get this fucking last Monokuma. Hey, Akane, give me a second, love. You swine. You little fucking bitch. I just thought, like, because obviously you had, like, this. And then that. I guess it makes sense that that wouldn't be Monokuma's grave because it was an alien. But I just always thought it was part of the scenery. <laughs> Fuck my life. <laughs> it still doesn't make sense of um the, the order that they all go in, right? Now then. Phew, I'm finally getting back to my normal self. Right. Hajime, help me out with my recovery. You can touch my boobs if you win. No thanks. She was bearable when she was quiet. It'd be so much better if she was still feeling the after effects. She beat me up if I said that out loud. Anyway, why are you hey, here? Hey. Well, I've never been sick or hurt before, so I have no idea, but... <laughs> hospital gowns are pretty comfy. I was thinking I might as well keep wearing one. Don't tell me you plan to wear hospital gowns from now on. Mm. That's the idea, but it looks like they're out of stock. It looked like there was one gown for each patient's room, so I thought it'd be more in the empty rooms. There weren't any gowns? Yeah. Yep, that's right. Ibuki died wearing one, so the only one left is the one Nagito was wearing. <laughs> if I have no choice, then I should just use Nagito's. It's a unisex size, so I'll probably be able to fit in it. Hold on, what happened to the gown you were wearing? Are you saying I should wear the one I already wore? That's gross! But she'll wear Nagito's one. Wearing until someone else was wearing is even grosser. Right. No time to dilly-dally. I totally left Mikan back at the music venue. Crap, I gotta go back soon. Well, it's okay since it's already investigated the music venue, but leaving her on guard duty was a bad idea. I was gonna say, she's like a guard. <laughs> I think this is an open room. There shouldn't be anybody inside. I should look elsewhere. Okay. It was just Ibuki's room, but never mind. It was still... It <laughs> Make it make sense for us, right? Make it make sense. What's this? It's pitch black. I can't see anything. Um, where's the switch? Hey. Don't turn it on. Huh? Ch Chiaki, are you there? If you turn on the light, it's going to be fully exposed. It'll be embarrassing. But what's fully hey. exposed? Hey, Hajime. If you poke out your eyes, you can turn on the light. What are you going to do? Are you going to poke them out? I'm not going to poke out my eyes. Aw, bummer. Pro fail. As soon as she finished saying that, I heard the dry sound of curtains being drawn. 
There was a flash of intense light that stung my eyes a little. I squinted my eyes until they st started adjusting to the light. And I saw Chiaki had finished opening the curtain that was covering the window. Hey, hey. <coughs> Wait a minute, I need a drink. Were you surprised? Surprised? I don't get it. Well? I got it. Got what? See? The curtains in this conference room are designed to completely block out light. Mm. There's a projector in here, so they were probably careful about light shining through. See? See, a black curtain that blocks light and is also long enough to reach the floor is perfect. A black, light-blocking curtain, that's why it was so dark. So, is something wrong with it? Mm. I'm still in the middle of investigating, so it's a secret. Yep, she's upset. But still, what was all that about? That bit about it being embarrassing if I look and a troll fail? I just wanted to mess with you. Yep, she's definitely upset. Why is she acting so childish? I guess I'm done investigating the hospital. I should move on to a different place. Ultimate game and ultimate troll. I mean, they go hand in hand, right? Trolling and gaming? Pretty much the same thing. Uh, I've done this out of order of what I would have done looking for this fucking Monokuma. <laughs> the Wizard of Monomy. Hello there. Why, hello there, Hajimi. I knew you'd come here. That means you noticed it too, right? The case this time is an imitation case in which the killer used that movie as their theme. I wouldn't know. I haven't watched that movie yet. I see. I see. Then you really should watch this movie first. Hey, hey manager, customer's really? here. Did you call me? Yes, did you call me? Wah -wah? Huh? Hajime's the customer. Do you have a problem with that? What are you gonna do? Oh, oh, oh. And you said you didn't want to watch it. But I knew you wanted to see it all along. If that's what that what Sundari Hajime looks like, then you're really a tough guy. <laughs> You were so devoted to being Sundari, you even bought the Monokuma sticker for $1.5 million! Huh? You paid $1.5 million for a sticker? It, it's nothing. In exchange for not watching this movie, Hajime paid $1.5 million for a Monokuma sticker! Come on, since we're talking about it anyway, why don't you show it to Nagito? So stop it! But my resistance was in vain, and Monokuma reached into my pocket and took the sticker. See, it's this one! I'm sorry, I was born stupid. That's... You bought this for $1.5 million? But in the end, he's still gonna watch the movie. H who cares about that anymore? Just hurry up and give me an invitation ticket. Here. Okay, here you go. It already, it already says on the invitation ticket, but it's only effective today at this time. By the way, I can only give away one ticket per person. You only have one chance to watch it for free. I've already stamped today's date onto their ticket, so you won't be able to cheat. Don't worry, I only plan to watch it Look once. To it, but now okay. prepare the projection reel. Please wait a bit, okay? Love that sticker, it's a good sticker. Ah, Hajime, about that invitation ticket, I strongly recommend you keep that safe. Huh? Why? No reason, just think of it as a protective charm. I guess I should just wait until Monokuma finishes preparations. That reminds me, that item should be on top of the counter. This one looks like a tote bag made of hemp cloth with a decal of Monomi's face on it. Ah, did that catch your eye? It's an all-purpose tote bag used for a variety of common tasks. It's a limited item, only one per person can have it. If that tote bag is gone, that means... What's this? Whoa there, are you interested in buying that tote bag? Yeah. Well, that's just too bad, it's already sold out. Who'd you sell it to? So stupid, there's no stupid. way I'd fall for that. There's no way I'd say something that would reveal who the killer is. <laughs> so, the killer brought it. Ha, ha. <laughs> I, remem I remember you said there was only one because it's a limited item, right? Hmm. Ha, um, it's not limited to one. It's more like it's limited to one person. What's the difference? Hey, 
When you buy one bag, you get another one free. It's a common practice to bait customers with bonus prizes. For some reason, hearing you say that pisses me off. I am a witness now, guys. Well, now. now then, I should think... I should forget that I carelessly made a slip of the tongue. Now, Looks like the preparations are complete, so please enter the theatre right away. This is so wait. exciting! Exciting! Wait. Guys, it's exciting. I'm going. Um. I apologize for keeping you waiting. World-famous director Monokuma presents a stunning masterpiece that reduces American audiences to tears. I... Avia, get your... get your... the tissues ready. The Wizard of Monomy 2.5D will be screening shortly. From the title alone, I have a bad feeling about this. 2.5D? That sounds so half-assed. Now then, relax please relax and enjoy, enjoy the film! film. Monokuma was born in a remote village full of old people because the death rates outpaced the birth rates. One day, Monokuma was swept up by a tornado created by a helicopter gunship during a routine military exercise. And was whisked away to Monami's country. Monokuma wanted to return to his homeland so he could go back to pestering the old people for change. <laughs> pestering so he old began people his for change. To see the wizard Monami, who was rumored to grant any wish one desires. Along the way, he met a very loyal group of friends. Monokuma met a Monami scarecrow who was missing a brain. When he recommended that she commit suicide, the Monami Scarecrow hanged herself and died. He also met a Monami Lion who was missing her courage, so he pumped her full of arrows. He also met a Monami Tin Man who was missing a heart, so Monokuma sliced her into lumps of iron. After a lot of other stuff happened, Monokuma finally reached the wizard Monami, the great and powerful. Eventually, one thing led to another, and he started beating the crap out of Monami. <laughs> and in the end, he somehow usurped the kingdom from her. With this, Monokuma enslaved the old people, took their pensions, and lived the rest of his days in luxury. Good. Fantastic. 10 out of 10. We're the king. And he lived happily ever after. The That's all that matters. I, I lived happily ever after, guys. Are you crying now, Avia? Do you need a hug? Man, movies are the best. That drama was so moving that I needed two boxes of tissues, one for each head. So... Now then, let's meet again at the class Goodbye. trial. Goodbye. Goodbye. So many tears. I'm too disgusted to even let out a sigh right now. That's all I can say to describe the situation. <laughs> How was it? Actually, I don't even have to ask. I totally expected your reaction. That was honestly the worst movie I've ever seen. Is it even okay to call that a movie? But thanks to that movie, now you know, right? Yeah. Just like he said, the characters who were killed in the movie match the victims in this case. Abuki's death by hanging matched the Scarecrow's death in the movie. Not just that, but Hiyoko's suspended body matches the lion's death too. It would have been a complete imitation if the killer killed three people, but it seems that wasn't possible. Perhaps the killer is upset about that right now, or... If the killer's main goal was just an imitation murder, they should be upset about it, but... I'm not sure if that's even true. Yeah. 
Ding dong, bing bong. Hello, how's everybody doing? It's me, Monokuma. It's yeah, me, it's yeah, me. yeah, bam, Monokuma. How's it going, lads? The class trial's gonna start, you know. So make sure you guys come to Monokuma Rock ASAP. <laughs> I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. It's already time. So this again. I need to go to that place again. Now it's not the time to be a coward. The reason Ibuki and Hiyoko become victims in order to find the truth. The only thing I can do is go. Alright. For the sake of my pet, we will go backwards. Yes. They need poo. I feel Shitami or whatever it's called is the worst one as well because like you have to keep it high without killing it, right? Nagi Bunny. Monokuma does rock. Monokuma does rock. Here is Monokuma rock. I don't think that counts towards anything. Uh. Oh, they got one. They got one little bit of despair. Everyone who heard the announcement had gathered in front of Monokuma Rock, and soon enough, everybody here do you guys want to do the class trial Wait. hey jerk hold it right there Enemy's what don't get in my trial. way you're just a dumb little sister who's short a few brain cells hey. my brain works just fine hey, hey. monokuma what do you do with nekamaru i see so you've come to avenge him That's... avenge that sounds like he died <laughs> sounds like you say oops anyway. anyway since nekamaru was unfortunately unavailable today let's just say he's absent Bye -bye. Now then, I gotta go first. I won't oh, hold on, I won't let you escape. Hey, hey. hey, do you hear what he said? Huh? Don't worry about that. There's no way Nakamaru was dead. You're trying to piss us off. Damn it. Of course he's not dead. There's no way. Not in a million years. Whoa. More importantly, it's best if we worry about ourselves for now. <laughs> if something happens here, every one of us except Nakamaru will die. <laughs> but why are you so excited about that? About it? Who knows? Maybe I'm just looking forward to seeing poetic justice prevail. What are you saying, fiend? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. See? Then let's go. All right, let's hurry up and get this over with. Yeah, you're right. I'll go for them all. Fine. It's about time I showed my serious side. Please, how troublesome. But I suppose I can display my true power for the sake of our uh, two fallen comrades. This is hey, what did Monokuma mean just now? Don't tell me Nakamaru's already. Don't get distracted by Monokuma. We need to focus on the class trial right uh, now. Uh, I know, but... No, Nagito's out on the side. I'm gonna hey, what are you whining about? Hurry and get this over with already. And then we can get can greet Coach Nakamaru with open arms when he comes back. Hmm. Just as I thought, this particular incident... <laughs> Oops, we can continue this later, right, Hajime? What's wrong with him? He's even creepier than usual. Jeez. I already figured this, but it's best if we don't rely on Monomi all that much. She's just saying stupid things, and it'll just make us even more confused. Maybe we should shut her up for good. Hey. Let's go. There's no time to waste. I know it's sad, but we need to move forward, and then we need to end this once and for all. Yoko, it must be my fault after well, all. Then I must learn the truth behind this murder most foul. Now then, let's proceed. <laughs> oh, I haven't been helpful at all. I couldn't even figure out an estimated time of death. I'm sorry I'm such a useless piece of trash. You are. Don't worry about it. Arr! I hope you guys like my roar. We stepped onto the escalator and ascended toward the gaping maw of Monokuma Rock. And that's when I suddenly noticed it. I noticed our lineup silhouettes keep getting smaller and smaller. But I can't turn back now. 
If I turn back, I won't be able to press forward. And when everyone was inside Monokuma Rock, It was shaken. The elevator began its deep descent as usual. But nobody said a word. As we stood there trying to figure out what to say to each other, the elevator descended deeper and deeper. And when it descended as far as it could go, it finally stopped. The elevator doors opened slowly, almost tantalizingly so. Light poured through from the other side, eroding the boundaries of the darkness, and I walked into that place. My, my, it feels pretty toothless with all these empty seats. Well, two people got killed at the same time, and Nekamaru's not here either. Is Nekamaru really not participating? If he's alive, you should invite him. No, no. Why bother? That's... What? Well, now. now then, let's begin. Yeah. It's the beginning of the long-awaited class trial. Please enjoy it to your heart's content. And so, the curtain to the third class trial was about to open. Ibuki Miyoda, the ultimate musician. She was really loud, but she was the mood maker for our group. When I was with her, all of my pain and suffering just seemed to melt away. Hiyoku Se Seonji, the ultimate traditional dancer... Just from looking at her adorable face, you'd never know she was actually selfish and foul-mouthed. But she was trying to change herself, and she was desperately trying to come to terms with her hero's death. The person who killed those two is among us. I definitely can't believe it. But whether I believe it or not is irrelevant. Unless I figure out the truth, I won't be able to escape from this hell. That's why I must find out no matter the cost, for our sake, for a friend's sake, for a Buki and Hiyoku's sake. And so, the curtain to the third class trial was about to open. This life-threatening trial billowing with hope, tra tra trial billowing with hope and despair has begun. Yes, I would love to save. Did I get another slash skill? I feel like I did, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, yo, welcome in, Trash Platter. Billowing with hope and despair. It is indeed billowing. Um. We've got a break coming up. I feel like we're just going to end up in the middle of something if I get it. Start now. We've got, but we haven't even got the five minute warning yet. <laughs> It's difficult. I've got, I, I've, I've ended up in this place where I've got a break that's gonna come any time now. But also, it's long enough away that it feels stupid to go on a break right now. Absolutely stuffed with hope and despair. You know what? A stuffed mushroom full of hope and despair. Mushrooms are nice. We can pluck them from Monomi's body. We do have a lot of, um, mushrooms growing on her, you know? You know? You know? If people over here are gonna sit here and eat globs of stuff they find on doors and floors and stuff, why wouldn't we eat the mushrooms off of Monomy, right? The trial was like despair, Mentos dropped into a pool of Diet Coke hope. You ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. Sound reasoning. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, has my eyes been like this the whole time? Have I been like squinting at you all? Probably. Can't be helped. I like to squint. As you can tell, I'm putting off doing the trial. We're going to start it after the break. Because there's no point. The break is so close. Even though it's not even five minutes away yet. Like, but it, it's just after the beginning of the hour, you know? It's so close. We're just going to end up having to stop in the middle of it anyway. In the middle of the beginning. 
So how was chat? How was chat's day? How are you all doing? I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all having fun. I'm just happy I figured out what this final bear was. I would have hated not to have got this bear and had to go back and redo this whole level to get the fucking bear again. That would have driven me insane. So I'm happy I got the fucking bear. Bloody bears. Bloody bears fighting themselves for me. Do we not know I am also a bear? Also, this is the point. We're going to have to figure out who the next person we're going to befriend is. I should probably go back and get the people that are already dead report cards done off stream. We're going to get level 99 quite soon, to be fair. And we should get 990 mon I'm, I'm surprised I've not got 990 mono coins in any of the games yet. Uh... Hear the class trial without using your concentration skill once. How have I not done that? I guess I accidentally click it most of the time. You can tell I'm not very good. I'm not very good at the trials in this game because I've never cleared one perfectly. Who do we have left that's not dead? Oh, we only got one person. Akane. Ak Akane is going to be who we befriend. Because she's the only person we've got. Mikan is done. So, Echo. Hurrah, five minute warnings for ads. Right, I'm going to put you on 